Ah. Okay. All right, guys. We had some uh, we had some technical difficulties, so we're actually we weren't actually going to be late. We're going to be pretty on time, but yeah. Skype was in the way. Work. Okay, so now we're not now we're done with Skype. Fuck that trash. Okay, now we've gone for for Discord instead. You know how about that? That's pretty good. Let's see, let's yeah. see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see if uh, see if this is any the better. The switch has finally been made. Yeah, the switch has this been is made. This is the future. Yeah, we've uh, we've transcended. We've transcended Skype and gone over to a far superior uh, piece of software, which is Discord. And you know what, guys? A lot of times on Tea Time, I have the pleasure of saying, you know what, we've got nothing to talk about. Let's just bullshit for two hours. But that is not happening today because we actually have content to talk about. Uh, and <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we do. We have content. They've added a beetle. Guys, we have a beetle mount set up. Okay. Uh, we have a new, bra a brand new map and a brand new fractal with some living story. And I think what a better place to start than the... Uh, and than zero the communication on raids. Let's talk about the new map, guys. Let's talk about the new that's, map. That's not correct, Inks. There actually was communication on raids. Oh, did I miss it? Because the yellow screen got put in that is completely blinding, and you can't tell what what's happening every time you get a mechanic. And Jason went on Reddit and apologized because they have so little idea of what they're doing that they rolled out stuff from the next update into this one and they didn't know about it and it broke Zara and Keep Construct and now you can't see whenever you get a Sab of the Bomb or a Blue on Veil Guardian or anything like that, so. At least that's getting stress tested now, right? Then. Yeah. Huh, huh, huh. Live environment testing. Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, to, yeah. <laughs> we can get to that a little bit later, you know? We can talk about the, the, the interesting raid memes a little bit later, but you know what, let's... Uh, the new map, Corner. We're in Corner now, guys, and there's a collection in it to get the Beetle Mount, which, which is presumably what they spent the extra time on, adding the Beetle Mount to the game. Uh, and you know what? It's, it's, it's the thought on everybody's mind right now. There isn't really that much to do in the new map, guys. The new map, Domain of Corner, the, the, me the meta event is amusing, actually. Like, it just feels like it's a pre-event, and then it just ends. And there's not a lot of replayability to it, is, do you think, is this intentional? Is this intentional or is this like a big meme? Is this I'll, like I'll, kind of I'll give this some perspective real fast and then I'll shut up for a little while. But I have a friend that's farming the back piece right now, which takes 800 currency to do. And he's mad. No, it's, it's 700 plus another 100, I think. No, it's 700. Okay, then 700. It's a lot. Anyways, yes. he's mad that he can't multi-map anymore because there are so few people in the map that you can't multi-map anymore. <laughs> Multi mapping is completely dead in this map, anyways. The effect right. is, is quite like minuscule compared to like every other map. It's a it's 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 a meme. It's a meme, not a map. Anyways, I feel like okay, I, I the map has been gotten a, getting a lot of shit all week, and we are probably gonna shit talk it as well here. Um, I want I want to I want to preface this whole conversation. I feel like it's for for everyone watching this now or watching this in the future, we we will give Arena credit when credit is due, but this is not one of those times. Ooh, this this map generally feels like it's not finished. It feels like it, it has been hit by by the sledgehammer in one capacity or many let's just put it like that every single aspect of this map feels unfinished n raw untouched it's just e everything from the the map the events the the meta the uh, awards the rewards sorry um the uh new currencies whatever everything just feels like something is lacking and it's it's such a weird feeling because usually at least when something something's bad there are some silver linings to it but this is just like this this is probably the worst living story map they have ever released and that says a lot really yeah it is there's been some pretty bad ones i don't know does anything beat this that's kind of the thing right Hmm. We have a meta event which practically doesn't exist and doesn't have any rewards. 
we have it's true. a reward system, a completely new reward system, which is locked to the new map, the turret, for example, which makes them completely invalid. Which There's one? No Sorry, say that again. The FTT turrets. Oh yeah, yeah. Fantastic system. Really well developed. Great, great uh, system. Locked to the new map where nobody can really use it effectively. Anyways, it's it's a it's a it's a dead reward. It doesn't exist. It's nobody wants to use it anyways. Why why have it? We have we have a, a currency which they forgot to implement, like to to actually give to the mobs. The mobs are not dropping volatile magic. We have the the, the entirely but new material inscribed. I would argue that that's on purpose. As terrible volatile as that magic? sounds, yeah. Volatile magic drops from everything. Like this is this is the outlier from eight maps. I know, I know, I know. But the reason that I say it's on purpose, and I and don't get me wrong, I think it's terrible as well. But the reason I think that they did that on purpose was to make getting volatile magic even slower because they don't want you to ramp it up like you did in season three. It's always, even though it's already even though doing the first map gives you a mountain of it, but you know. Yeah. Well, and they're adding it's the gathering tools. Way over there's, yeah, there's volatile magic gathering tools too. Just farm it even there's harder. No, there's no coming reference. Yeah, that's the biggest meme, isn't it? Like the volatile magic uh, uh, gathering things that are coming into the game in just a second. They've added that to a map which currency, which material isn't even gathered. It's just something that yeah. you pick up from a chest that is half-assed, anyways. It really like. Well, the I chests are all over. Really it negative, doesn't negative, but this is really this is a rough one to 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 really salvage. I don't I feel mean, like playing the map because it's it's entirely unrewarding. Nothing I want there. It's true. It's rewarding. Yeah. Um, I would say that um, the North feels generally devoid of any content whatsoever. There's very little to do, sort of in the northern part of the map, and then the main meadow event is extremely Coiler. incomplete. And they don't, and probably because of the way the story is designed, but they really don't use much of any of the Moon Fortress at all. It's a giant feature on the map, but really all you do is go in a little corridor of it, and that's it. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't, you can't access different parts of the fortress. There's three bridges that, uh, that go into the fortress, but you only really use one of them. The um, biggest landmark of it, Cor yeah. the entirety of Corna mm. is not accessible, even though it's in the game. Yeah, and I don't I don't know if that's just because a good deal of the story takes place in it, or uh, it doesn't. I mean, a good deal of the story takes the, the place last, the last in it. The last chapter is, but you know. it it you're just like in a sewer underneath it, like you're not in the walls. Uh, or yeah, like, yeah you're sort of. I mean, you work your way up through the sewer into his chamber, but yeah, I I, I don't know. The map does feel rather lackluster feels pretty incomplete it feels like they have giant assets there that like the fortress that just really aren't utilized at all for whatever reason mm. and what sort of probably irks people off about a lot of this is the fact that they took extra time for this particular episode perhaps because of the beetle we don't i don't think we have an official answer do we and no. it still feels incomplete and lackluster than most of the other maps they've done I have a conspiracy I, about that, but oh, I have another idea that. as well. But I'll let you talk first, I guess. Oh, you want me to go? Oh, I can go first if you want. Um, no, I'll go. Uh, yeah. I think that there's more anti-cheat malware detection in the oh. game right now. I'm not positive, uh, but I let's be honest. How long did this get delayed? Like two, three weeks? A month? How long uh, did the patch get delayed? Yeah, yeah, it was like well, three weeks. We technically yeah. don't know like how how much it was actually actually delayed. Maybe it would yeah. have come out even sooner. We don't know. But so like three if weeks. If it's this unfinished and they're like really I, I I think it's I think it's third party program detection. That's just a it's just a guess, a shot in the dark don't really have anything to support that other than the fact that they've done it before and they didn't tell anybody until Reddit figured it out. We did it Reddit, but well, I, I don't know that really would that really take think... three I don't I don't know about that one dude. I think they, I think they I probably just took it I think they would just I think they just take ages to do stuff. Uh probably. <laughs> I think what happened is is a case of just uh bad time management. 
I think it's, it really just comes down to that. I feel like the team that, that like, because it shows in the content. It shows that everything is kind of unfinished. Everything just like feels like it's missing the last touch and we're, we're, we're missing something. I feel like it, it's, it's literally just been down to like bad time management. And they got to a point where it's like, oh, wait, all right, shit, we, everything's lacking. We, we, we need to postpone this just a little bit to, to even make it all right, but we have to put it out. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like that was just like, all right, guys, it, it's going to be a little bit late. We had some restructuring. We're not going to really admit our faults publicly because... Because we're going to get eaten really alive. Because we're going to get exactly. eaten alive. That's why. So well, they, instead, they we'll just say, say something and then... Yeah. Wasn't there a comment about the sand dunes more or less just being there so that you can do beetle tricks and whatever with it? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously the I mean, entire the behind map. the scenes. I think there's a behind the scenes video where they were like, we added the that open desert area kind of lasts or whatever, so that you could yeah. do your beetle tricks there and practice the, it and whatever. The beetle seems most. I mean, I think the beetle is pretty well done. Yeah. But yeah. Other than that, I, it, it's it's one of the craziest things. Like the beetle is really well done. The turret system is really well done, and the um, uh, there's another thing that was really well done. I, I I forget it. There are individual parts that are really well done, but then they just don't take it the extra mile. Like the beetle is really unsupported in other other maps. We don't have the crystals there. We don't have uh, just to give an example. We don't really have anything to make mount races work in guild halls with boosters or mm. whatnot they could have e easily added that same with the turrets the turrets cannot be taken out of the map it's a great system it's dead in its tracks we can't right. use it anywhere it's just it, it just feels like it's missing that little part which would make all of these things so much better but it, it doesn't have that and so the entire thing just like eh, there's no end to any of it any of the features that yeah. we got so have you done all of the um have you guys done all of the Bounties? No, I've. Yeah, I think I've done. I? I think I've done I've pretty done much. All, I think I've done pretty much all of them. Yeah. them. I did. They one. don't. That was they it. They don't seem. It, do they have different mechanics? They all seem to be the same. I mean, they're different creatures, but I, I don't know. They don't seem to. I can't tell that they do anything different from all the other bounties I've ever fought. I killed I, one for the beetle collection, and I don't remember what it was or what it did. I mean, it is, all right. I mean, I don't think we can. Do we really uh, criticize open world content, guys? It's it's you pretty. Fa it's I mean, going to be face roll. It, yeah, I mean, you can, but it, you, you're not going to criticize it for difficulty, right? No, it's going to be I'm face roll no matter what. It's right? not difficult enough. I'm just saying, like, I didn't notice what its mechanics were necessarily. There's no collection. I, I just feel like I feel like if you're going to do bounties, like they've been putting bounties in every map uh, up until now, because of my computer situation, I haven't really done them too much. So I started to do them more recently, and it just feels like that system's not really being expanded or explored any more than that. And I'm not mm. saying they need to be super difficult, I, but I think that actually mechanics or something um, to to the fact that not a lot of players play uh, bounties. I think they wanted bounties to be a, a really widely popular thing. But then they forgot to add decent rewards, like back with Path of Fire, and so players don't actually play it. Thus they don't develop them any further because, well, if, if players don't play it, why should we really make anything crazy of it, I guess? Yeah, I think, I think that's fair. I think that's why it is. Uh, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't affect people. Uh, th think about the reward. Um, the, if they increase the mechanical intricacy or make it bounties more interesting to do, um, who is going to go, wow, we really enjoy that. It's going to be appreciated by almost no players because... Mm. Uh, uh, the tr uh, in in open world, people are just kind of going. Like, All right, let's smash this guy, get the loot, and move on. Right? It's just like, eh. mash it's that a, like button. Yeah, exactly. Like... Mash that bounty up, and then you just move on to the next event. It's just, uh, it, it doesn't really doesn't really do anything. Uh, they're they're going to get way more value out of polishing up the mount a lot. Okay, because everyone's like, oh, beetle, beetle, right? Okay, you know, oh, look at it, and then they're going to sell fucking fifty mount skins for it, dude. And then they're going to probably the only yeah. person who doesn't care about this, the beetle. But oh no! I, well, I mean, it, it, that what um what was previously said about the beetle not being particularly useful in any other map is kind of it, it's kind of amusing to me. Like it, it moves fast. It, it's yeah. very fast, but it's 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 it has limited utility in in other maps. Really, um, 
it's it's good and it is really fun and it's incredibly well done. I think it's uh, it controls really well. Uh, it's fun. It feels to, it's like fun the to rabbit use. to me. I don't like looking at it necessarily. Uh, Wait, what? I don't really like using it, but the rabbit maybe the beetle doesn't fall into this category. But then the rabbit is really useful everywhere. So then I have to use the stupid rabbit mm. everywhere I go. Look well, this yeah, stupid rabbit. You don't need piece. the. Uh... Use a rabbit to jump over the silver waste so you don't have to wait on the Well, they put up a lot of walls now in the last episode and, and the one before that. They're putting up more and more walls that you can't jump to certain places, it feels like. Well, because, they, yeah, they, I don't, when they created the bunny, I, didn't, I don't think they realized what they made, right? It's really OP. You uh, can say that about a lot of things. Whatever, whatever it, it, you want to call it. It's so OP. Springer. But uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't and, like cute things. No, I don't really like cute things. You got well, me there. That's wow. true. I don't like timey. I don't like Inks rabbits. hates I fun. Like, I don't like beetles. Inks hates fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it, it just seems very... I do very... like Joko. Yeah? Joko? Oh. Joker. Oh. Wait. Oh. Robot. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay, you're back. Okay. What? Yeah. Wait. I don't know. It just, just go, just glitch. That, it just booped. It just beep booped for me. Oh. Oh. Joko's yeah. magic. Jo it's yeah, cool. Joko disconnected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. Even even the the meta that does exist, the big event, uh, the, the even the end boss is a bit underwhelming. People die in mass at the end boss Wait, because really? they step in their own crap. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, like half your party will instantly die because somebody what? stepped in one of the. Can someone tell me what he actually does? Because I have mm -hmm. no idea. Because he he, he, he he dies so fast, I have no he idea out, what he does. He shoots he out these poison. little. Uh, I forget what they're called. Somebody in chat will correct me. He he shoots out these little pestilence pods, and if yeah. you step on it, okay, it spreads like black goo, kind of. Oh, and there's Demos. poison everywhere. Yeah. So what happens is somebody who's not paying attention steps in it. And then it kill it wipes half the raid. That's that's there. <laughs> wow! I didn't even yeah. know. Yeah, I didn't even know it does that shit, dude. Seriously. Yeah, should we should we talk about how you actually get uh, loot from it? You well, you get six. Oh, you, uh, dude, there's six so it's, chests. It's, it's an inquest. It's an inquest that you beat on. Then it gets on a golem, and you beat on that. But neither of those things give you credit for the tag. And so at 10% health, the inquest jumps out of the golem, and that's when you have to tag him, when he has 10% health left. And if you don't tag him, which you have to do instantly, because he just poofs away, uh, then you don't get anything. You don't get the access card, which you don't... So this is the, this is the thing that I have the, the biggest problem with. There's a loot room at the end that you have to have a yeah. key card to get <laughs> into. You get the key card from the boss... And then you run over to the room and you're like, okay, how do I get in? Well, it turns out that on the other side of the little area of the fortress you're in, you have to run down there, open your inventory, and double click the key card in your inventory. There's not an interact if you have it, which there should be. You double click on it, you go in the thing, and it teleports you in, and it confuses the shit out of everyone, unless you somehow <laughs> yes. happen to know how to. To the They're point, like, yeah, did you see the Reddit post? Did you see the Reddit yes. post where the guy was like, yeah, we need a Mesmer to get us through, dude. It's the yes. only way. It's yes. <laughs> like, so we yeah. can't get the loot without the Mesmer. What are we going to do? To make to make matters better, there's like a little assured device in the house that's next to the hole in the wall. Papaya wanted me to and show him this. I think that might this... be the device you use to get in, but it's not. It's actually a couple of houses down the other direction. It's a um, very unintuitive thing. Yeah. And you can't stay there either, by the way, because it refills with poison and you'll you'll come back and it'll kill you, which I learned the hard way. Mm. Yeah. The, um, the, uh, I think another thing as well with the final reward room, because um, I, I have a big right with the, all the chests involved, actually. But one thing you can do with just... You can do the meta once. Uh Place your character in there. Just let them stay there, uh, and then you can map, map hop. Holy shit! The and final the chest. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, because there aren't any more maps open. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, the other well, thing what is, what you can do though is you can place it and you can just join a map when the event is up again later on. In, in theory. But the issue is, my issue uh, with that is, there's only two out of the six chests in there that actually matter. The others. 
practically don't exist. It's it, they give two unidentified um, gear and then five volatile magic. It it, it, pra it practically doesn't exist. It's just it's just garbage that comes out. But the other two, uh, one one gives a single inscribed shard, and the big one has a chance for inscribed shards. Oh God. Like, like, I just, I, it's it, like, can we, can we at least get some, some loot from it? Well, it like, it's just, it's so weird. It's so weird that there are these kind of basic errors. Like, for example, when, when the map first came out, none of the mobs in the events dro gave XP or loot, right? I mean... No, people what? Yeah. What? It it's it's just... The biggest mastery track we've had for all of... And there's the, no the XP on the board, map? And there's no XP. There's no you XP? You can't do any events. You're never incentivized to do the events yeah. because then you're not getting anything. You're not getting XP? You have to... You, I mean, I don't get it. It's... Oh. Uh, it, it, no, the, the only thing I can say is that it's unfinished, right? And I, and I do kind of believe that. I, I think it, that it's not intentional. I think a lot of this stuff was like... Pfft. Honestly, it was like... M the, the They said, right, we got to ship it, guys. we got to ship it. And then, and then the team was like... Guys, it's balked. We we can't ship it now. It's balked. Okay, and then they ship it anyway. And there's like broken shit. And there's nothing well, in the map. And there's no with loot. Story for a couple of days as well, right? Oh, that's oh, dude. Should we talk about this fiasco, or, or do we want to, let's talk? No, uh, wait. I mean, we, we can kind of well. we might as well just bring this up as well. Error like, code th This was the biggest. Th <laughs> was this worse than Path of Fire launch? Actually, more of a fiesta. I, I didn't even log in, so it didn't affect me. I, I wasn't yeah. around for Path of Fire launch uh, because I was enjoying life. You guys have to tell me about that. Path of Fire launch, I don't think, was actually this much of a fiesta. Um, it was playable pretty quickly. Um, whereas I, I literally just gave up. I gave up trying to do the second episode. Um, uh, in this, you, you nobody, hit pretty nobody hard. could get in the. the yeah. See, the issue is that they they've hard gated. They they figured all right, we have to we have to tie this map, all of these living story maps, into uh, the story. We have to all like ooh. You're you're moving through tunnels, or you're taking a portal through the mist, or you're doing something uh, with a uh, submarine, something to get to the new map. But that means they hard lock the the map completely behind story. So when the story breaks, you can't get in. Yeah, nobody could get in. Everyone was just stuck in desert highlands, waiting by the the story uh, story marker. Like, can alternative methods, please, in the future? Not everyone. I, I've never, I've never really followed the whole. Um, oh, I don't really care about the story. I just want to get in the new map. Blah blah blah. Because it's like, oh, the story is so quick. Anyways, it's over. It's done with. But like in this case, I, I really see why there should be an alternative method to just getting into the maps. Like make a portal, make I, something. I, I don't think there should be an alternative method. Do you know what I think there should be? What? Fucking test it. Or that. <laughs> uh. Yeah. All right, I, I, th this I th I think it is time, guys. All right, and I know this is a bit of a, a subject that, well, I know this is probably isn't going to happen, but can we please talk about test servers, guys? Right, because I, I realize that on their test server, okay, wh wherever that is, um, it probably worked, right? And we know that it kind of worked because, um, we know well, guys, partners of early access, right? To to to. A, a version of this stuff, right? Because, look, guys, mount videos are already out, like, instantly, right? Before we could even get on the new map, there was beetle mounts out, uh, beetle videos out, right? Okay? So, right. It, it obviously worked somewhere. So why didn't it work when they put it on the live server? And that's Somebody a... Little... That's a legitimate question to ask, right? Because obviously something is happening in translation. I mean, I, I'm no expert, guys. But something clearly went wrong there. Uh, that, <laughs> they didn't Someone mean to do that. To paste over the last bracket when they were copying oh, yeah, the yeah. code. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> They're miss missing a bit of a semicolon there, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, there are a few issues. Uh, but uh, there is a reason why a lot of MMOs have a PTR, right? It's to prevent stuff stuff like this. I mean, and to a reading its credit, it really doesn't happen very often, right? There have been a few mild fiestas, uh, stuff like, um, you know, Path of Fire launch was a bit rough. Similar issues actually with instancing, I believe. Uh, but that is that just to do with server load? Because I guess there were a lot of people playing. I don't know. It would be really interesting to actually know. Just as a, just out of curiosity, it would be really interesting to know what actually went wrong in this. Um, in this patch, right? Uh, but then, uh, then also, like, how, 
Like Zera, what, what the fuck? I, I mean, <laughs> what, what, why did why did Wing Three just become impossible in a they, random they patch? Pushed, I mean, they pushed unfinished raid changes through with the build. <laughs> they, 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 I love. Do you know what I love about this? Like the juicy irony. So one of their little patch notes, one of their, you know, hit, I think it was unreleased patch notes. It was basically like we fixed Zera, right? We fixed some problems with Zera in KC, but they. It actually broke case. It broke Zara completely, so she's impossible. I mean, that. I mean, <laughs> so that's funny. I haven't, I haven't oh, tried to fight while they disabled it now. But what was the problem with her? What was happening? Um, oh, you fall through the platform when she's at twenty percent HP. It just disappears. No. Well, that's a that's a feature. Yeah, so at, at forty percent and twenty percent, you know when she teleports you to the platforms yeah. to do the mini game, the platform just doesn't spawn, <laughs> and you just fall <laughs> to your death. Feels good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if they fixed that yet. I don't think they have actually. I think Zera is still. No, they, they said they fixed it. They released a patch that said they fixed it, but I don't think they actually. Have I think yet. I think Wing Three is disabled. Now. Is it still disabled? I thought they yeah. re-enabled it. I, I, I heard last night that it was disabled. Maybe not. Oh, the last okay. time I looked at it, it was Zera was disabled. Okay. This is why you always do Monday clears before yeah. uh, a patch, guys. Yeah, always, always do it. Okay, Zara, Zara is still disabled. Okay, all right. You yeah. can't fight Zara. She does. Okay, right. You okay. gotta do Monday clears with those pug groups that want all three sets of legendary armor now. Well, that's pretty and, intense. And their, and their requirements, yeah. That's and intense. They can't do sloths or mushrooms. Still. Like, yeah. Okay. So I mean, that that's pretty funny. Uh, that is uh, I, the, the, that illustrates a wider issue. Maybe it's time to consider a test server, uh, a public no. test server, right? Because uh, then you can uh, maybe no. prevent stuff like this from happening. You know, maybe we could do that. And, and then other MMOs will steal your steal your ideas since they're actually better than all other MMOs. And so you can't okay. really. It's going to happen that. anyway when it goes live. What is it? Yeah, maybe, but not before the theirs comes out. Blizzard's I think... still going to take it and polish it up Blizzard style and yeah. The game. I don't know. And then there is the then there is the yellow screen. We can talk about the yellow screen for a bit. The, this uh, the yellow screen got ac added by accident, right? So when, when you're yellow in screen? the the yellow border, like when you're in danger of being killed by something, your screen goes yellow now in raids. It's yeah. When you get a mechanic, yeah, like oh, a mechanic. I haven't like, seen this. I haven't been in a raid. Okay, since. so you know, the, have you ever played Necromancer? I actually don't know. You don't seem like the kind of person no. that would. Okay. No. <laughs> Do you at least know what, like, when you go into Death Shroud, what happens to the screen? Uh, How, like, yes. Doesn't like all of stuff or something. Right? Yes, like a third of the way into the screen, there's this green border around it. It's like the day's border or whatever when it turns red, but it gets bigger, yeah. and it like tints the screen darker. So imagine that, but like bright piss yellow. Anytime you're standing over a blue on Veil Guardian, or like there's a Sabbath bomb, mm, yeah. like any mechanic. So like I've been like raiding to practice Hollowsmith some, and like I have a panic attack anytime that like anything because it's just like you can't. You're like vision. It's all just like you can't see anything. The screen goes yellow. You're like, did I get dazed? What happened? Oh my god! And you like move. Uh, it's it's awful. It is so they need to. They they need to just add No, they need to reduce the opacity by like, the opacity by like reduce the opacity by like sixty percent, and reduce how far in it is, and it'll probably be fine. But like it is, oh god, it's so awful. It's is there gonna terrible. be if somebody says the yellow border is for dummies? Are they gonna add like a rating for dummies button and turn it on? Make it a, make it a toggle. Extra make effects. it a toggle. Just make an easy mode toggle well, for people. What I don't really have a problem with how it. I don't really have a problem with how it looks visually. It's kind of annoying, but they say it's not final anyway, so they're gonna they're gonna tone that down. But what? what yeah, like, the concern about easy mode is what. Um, is what does kind of bother me a bit. I don't like, I mean, maybe maybe I'm a little bit of an old man, but I don't like stuff like that. It's just like, why are we making it even easier? You know, I, I mean- Maybe this is their solution to not doing like a story mode instead of- Honestly, to... Wing 1 of Raids is easier than CM100 and CM99 Fractals. Uh, I don't know, I don't think so. No, uh, it is, it is because ooh. of the pacing that things happen. Everything is so fast-paced and fractals, and like 
wing one is hard content it's difficult but it's like a much slower pace it is it is it's a slow I mean, pace i can, can kind of yeah I and there's, there's, the learning there's curve i can get on that way less visual hell and you really only have to do like one or two things at most in raids like you tank and move the thing around you go on a green circle you just do dps and like cm fractals it's like okay i've got to do all these five things I have to like get used to seeing all the noise and what I'm doing and the boss tells and the break bars and like all sorts of stuff. It's the pacing is just like super fast and good. Like falling off platforms to your death, like stuff like that. Like that's not really like as big of a thing and like wing one particularly. One hundred there's a lot of stuff happening at once. Yes. One hundred is, is quite difficult. Um, we're Veil Guardian, like you said. There's a lot. There's different mechanics that you have to do properly, but it doesn't necessarily all hit at once most of the time, anyway. Yeah, uh, I. And when it does, then people fail. I, I, so, it's, I mean, it's debatable. We, it's debatable. We can think that it's. We can think that it's. It's easy uh, to like for us, but for a new player and like uh, the learning curve sense, I can get where uh, where you're you're coming from, uh, Brazil. Did it you is see the quite storm? more manageable. Sorry? Someone posted the yellow border in Twitch chat, if you no. haven't seen it. I really want to check it out. Look at that. Yeah, go look at yeah. it. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't like it. Um, I think you should have to notice a mechanic on you and not have the game the notice fuck? it for you. Yes. Um, I, I think it's really... I don't like this change at all. I think it's very this silly. Is the, um, this is the you stepped in pee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should have to be looking at your character and actually paying attention rather than the game doing it for you. Why is the game doing it for you? It do, I don't know. It's just not right. Um, it, th this is so... like... I, I think it sets a dangerous precedent as well. Like, it, it, eventually, you're just going to be at the point where... That you don't have to, you bet well. I mean, dude, Guild Wars 2 raids are already fucking easy. I, I mean, <laughs> I, why, yeah. I, why are they making it easier? Um, uh, no, I, I don't like it at all. I mean, it's, it's a weird solution uh, to, a, to the problem of like, okay, the visual aids, I can't see shit. Well, it's kind of like, well, you know, it's not that bad anymore, in my opinion. It's not that bad. If you can't see the blues, like, maybe you get trolled. Maybe you get trolled. Uh, like once you get accidentally teleported, I mean it happens, right? But if you're paying attention, you'll be able to you'll be able to learn around it. I I, I think it's such a very dangerous precedent. Um, you know, you know uh, what's kind of bad about this is I don't think that this yellow border, whatever it ends up being, because it's not finished. I still don't think this is going to satisfy those people who think that raids are difficult and don't want to do them for that no. reason. They won't be satisfied until there's a super adventure cloud that takes them over the boss and through the ghost run. Yeah. <laughs> they just sit on top of the, the cloud. That's my preferred method. Guardian and just AFK auto it with a longbow ranger while their bear goes down and hits it. Yeah, that's, 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 been, my, that's been my go-to. Yeah. In the, the entire border, raid mode. The, the border needs to be... It needs to be... And just go ahead and do this if you're listening, which some of you probably are. I don't know why it's yellow. I don't know why anybody ever thought that yellow is good color for it. But like, well, you think about be all of the like mechanics that you're like helping people avoid. They're all orange circles or circles with red borders. Make it a red to orange gradient. That's like way less overwhelming visually. A red to orange gradient. Reduce the opacity by like anywhere from 20 to 40 percent, depending on it look, what it looks like. Then it's going to tell the player visually what's happening, not just like, oh shit, your screen's yellow. They see the, the red to orange, they know that there's a mechanic. Tells you what's happening instantly, and it's not just this awful hell, overwhelming color. My how about God. how about we just delete that, okay, and make it so people actually have to play the fucking game? Yeah, please. All right, how about that? Um, no, uh, no, I don't agree. I don't really agree with adding this. If they do, I mean, fine. Uh, Just only add it on Doom CM. Only add what, it on Doom CM. It, it, what's worse is that uh, what I'm kind of worried that if they add this, I, you know, I'll tell you what. I'm actually fine with this on the condition that they don't add it in new raid wings until a few weeks after. Because I, I think it will on ironic. Okay, if you had seriously, okay, if you had this border on Doom, it would have been so much easier to do it for the first time. Because like, what was like a thing that killed people quite often was just not noticing you have shackles, and now the game notices for you. 
that you have yeah. shackles, right? Yeah. Um, it, it, I it, I, I just don't want it to be there. I don't want there to be extra mechanics telling me mechanics. I, I, I feel like it, one of the best examples here is like that you guys gave here was uh, the blues on Veil Guardian. I have had issues with the blues, but that's because I have uh, a slight color blindness to uh, to blue colors, so I can't really see them. I can't see the blues whenever there's a, a purplish field, which is like all over the place. So I've had to like Veil Guardian is probably the only uh, boss where I have to play with sound to get around that because then I can actually react to it. But I found a way around it, and I'm I'm not just getting ported all over the place because I can't see it. It's about yeah. interacting with with the game and trying to like learn that can mechanic, you, like how to overcome it. Yes, can that's you see correct. yellow? Huh? Yes, I can see yellow. You can see yellow. <laughs> well, they, Arena fixed it for you. With job done. Look. They're like, yeah. look, we know DeRoyer has trouble with blue, so <laughs> we're going to make it yellow. Yeah. The guy reading it, they're just trying to help you out. Yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't appreciate that. No. It, it, it just seems that <laughs> they shouldn't make stuff easier than it already is. I mean, look at Taco, right? You have an, a, a legion of players in Guild Wars 2 learning how to play a Taco overlay instead of learning yeah. how to play the game. Like, yeah. What? It, um, and the thing, it, it makes, it, it it fosters bad players, right? And it's kind of, what, okay, so why, why do you care about that, right? Well, the thing is, of course raids are always going to seem hard if you never actually learn them. I, and it's, and, ah, ah, it, it's, uh, yeah, people don't learn the raids at all. They don't learn them properly. They learn they learn where to stand. Like, okay, the timer is... I have is, no idea what happens in any of the boss fights. The, the timer has reached 7.30. I need to be standing here at this time, right? And they give anything changes, like, the players can't do anything. It's just... Oh, God, it's... Um, it's so, let me, let, me, let, me, let me give an example. So, a friend of mine plays Hollow Smith, and he's very good. And so I said, I think I like to play that. Can I have your build? He didn't give me the build. He gave me like a rough idea of what it does, and I watched him play. So then I figured the build out, figured out the rotation, practiced it for hours, went into fractals and played with him, got completely screwed because I wasn't used to playing it in a real mechanic or real environment. So then he told me how bad I was. I said, yes, you're correct. So I went in, practiced fractals for like four days straight, all day long, did see him 100 multiple times a day for hours for days and said, I'm going to get better. I'm going to play this build. I want to get better at it. I want to do it. So, like, that's the mindset. Like, if you want to figure something out, dedicate, like, a couple hours to it. Just go do it. Don't make excuses. Just figure it out. I'm not a very good player. I've never been a particularly good player. DeRoyer is even worse than I am, <laughs> and he found a way around Veil vale Guardian Blues. What? So go figure wow. it out. Just wow. do it. Just go figure it out. Yeah. Don't, don't let the taco overlay that literally has arrows on the ground for super adventure box whatever hard mode that just tells you no 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 figure the game out yes. or die that's the point that's the point man go, I, go, go suffer so you can be proud about I, it yeah, when I, you get better at it i, I honestly don't get it i honestly don't get it um <laughs> it, wasn't there an old like tea time about Yes. Players not wanting to learn, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, about story mode, there's a song. It, to uh, to, to song me, uh, I mean, it, I suppose this is personal preference, but to me it just sucks the joy out of it, you know? It's like, it, it's just, the whole point of playing the game is to conquer the game, right? But if you let a fucking add-on do it for you, then I mean, God... I mean, look. I mean, they had this Without problem in WoW. That's why they, they that was why they deleted this stuff. Like they bopped DBM pretty hard because they just they made it. They nerfed the fuck out of it because it was just making everything AIDS. I don't know, man. I just with that, like genuinely with without trial and hardship, you will never really get that that satisfaction of overcoming something. And and this this game just is all about just handing everything to you. Yeah. You don't you don't go through the trial and error, which is why there's so many self imposed challenges and whatnot. We want that challenge. We want them to to push it to, us to the limit. Some but time and time again, sure. it just feels handed to you. And and to be fair, raids is the place to impose that because this is supposed yeah. to be uh, the challenging in-game content, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I just well, 
it, it realistically it probably won't change. It changes nothing in the new in the new raid. I mean, from my, I, I don't know. Do what I want it to be disabled uh, or have a toggle for it. I'd certainly like a toggle because I find it a bit obnoxious, honestly. Toggle. And, uh, if you have it on, it reduces the loot. Yes, please. Oh wow! No, it's basically no, no, easy mode. No, 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 no
boss, it's not hard. It, it's you can you can range him and he will never hit you. That's basically oh, how hard God. it is. Yeah, you, oh boy! You, you um, press a you press a special action key, and you just hit him. But I I mean I like the the idea. I like the design of it. Sure, it could be like one up. There could be a, C, a CM. It 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 fits really well into the to like the structure of uh, of the design. I I think there no. should have been a CM. Yeah, it does. I think that there's... It doesn't. It's a it jumping does. puzzle. No, it's not. It's like it is. It's very, you stand. You stand on. Muscle. You you stand on switches, it's and you press possible. a special action. It's like doing a gym in Pokemon. You fight some trainers and then get to the boss. And you just steamroll with your level sixty starter. That's 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 what this fractal is. But, 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 it, but is that necessarily a bad thing? Yeah, that's kind of the thing, right? Because yeah. right now, okay, the the issue we have right now is that we have double ups. In the roster of fractals, like there's there's excess amounts of urban battlegrounds, mm. and we need that roster filled out. We don't yeah. want that roster to be be filled out with fractals that take thirty plus minutes because they're hard. Sure, it's cool to have those fractals as well, but but we want to have those one offs. We want to be looking forward to it in the daily rotation. It takes them forever yeah. anyway, though. Yeah, people <laughs> do people it. do not like the um, uh, Twilight Oasis. They've said that many times. They still don't like it. The devs are uh, looking really at the, the metrics but... and saying that this this fractal just takes like an, on average too long for players and groups. Yeah, they made it too hard. No, it's not I'm, that it's too hard. The that problem should have been a CM as well. But anyway, it's, Twilight it's, Oasis. The problem with that is that if you have lots of damage or like epidemic, then there you don't see any mechanics. No, the bosses don't do anything. The elites don't do anything. The last boss doesn't do anything. Like you don't even see what it's doing because the phases are so short. And you jump up on the thing and kill the little mobs and go back down. You can't see what it's doing. Like if you have a chronomancer that gives you boons, or you have a heal rev, which is the best class in the game, or you just have people that can like press their buttons and do DPS, you don't see anything. If you have people that don't do DPS and don't give boons, like it is just like overwhelmingly impossible. Like, I, I wiped on the last boss but, with Bard for, like, over an hour with a group because nobody was doing damage. Like, yeah. the mechanics are just spam hell. It's, it was awful. Terrible. So, but, like, that's, that's the problem with that. That's the problem with that. Bad. There are there are numerous shortcomings with the Fractal that uh, people get frustrated at at various degrees. The boss is not one of them for me particularly. Um, and it seems to not be the focus for the devs as well. I was doing on patch day because because the story wasn't working. We basically just ran Deepstone a couple times with uh, Ben Ben Arnold, the the fractal dev, one of the fractal devs, and we were talking about like some of the uh, some of the reworks that that they were looking at and Twilight Oasis coming up really quickly uh, from one of my mates uh, who really despises that fractal and and ben said well they're looking they're looking at the sand binders right now like they're looking at cutting down the intermittent phase between amala and amala so he was he was talking about probably cutting out the second sand binder um because they're they they don't really seem to want to touch amala they actually kind of seem to really like the boss fight and i agree with that I, I still disagree with the implementation of the um, the checkpoint after Duena, uh, the Duena phase. Absolutely despise it. Please, like, can we just get rid oh, of Oh, yeah, that? That, that should be gone, 100%. Um, mm. it's, it's such a... You don't like it because it, it makes it easy? It just no, starts halfway through the fight. I don't, I don't like fight. it because there's no way I will ever uh, solo it. That's oh. literally the reason why I don't like it. I, I think the boss fight's really good. Uh, I realize that some people complain about it being difficult. And yeah, I mean, uh, I... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Twilight, Twilight Oasis is really that bad. Like, it's a bit annoying. I find the sandbinders to long. be, a, I find the sandbinders to be a bit HP spongy, but you can still do it pretty yeah. quickly. I, I don't really, and yeah, they have some annoying mechanics, but just take a Chaos Chrono and it's so, everything is so cheesed by all the stability. Um, I don't know. For me, for me, Twilight Oasis just feels a little bit long to get to Amala, which is really mm. the fun part. The part that bothers me the most, and probably actually more than the boss fight, is that you go to the like central room area where Amala is, 
and then you jump on roofs and run around the whole fractal and city, and then you just wind up back in the same place. Yeah, and you get the... Like, it, why? Why can't they put, like, all of the elite mobs and stuff and, like, jumping on the roof before that? And so it doesn't just feel like you're running around with a special action key. I, I don't... I, 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 I don't... I don't particularly enjoy Twilight Oasis, uh, but I don't think it's bad. I don't really have a problem with it. If they cut out a sandbinder, that would be fine. But should we, should we go... Should we go Talk about the new Deep fractal, Star. right? Deep Stone. Yeah, I Star. actually really kind of like it. Um, I the the one criticism I would have of it is I think it's a waste. Um, they add all these really cool mechanics with the light of Deldramore, uh, and these puzzle things and these kind of weird bosses, and they just don't do anything. Like I don't even know if the spider has mechanics because it died so fast. I, I'm yeah. I, yeah. Um, the Minotaur? I don't. Uh, what, what does the fucking Minotaur do? It just it's dies dark. instantly. It, and... it swaps in between in and out of uh, the shadow form. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know that. Uh, and then yeah. the lightning guy. The lightning guy. He killed me because I turned into a tornado and I fell off the it edge. Went off the edge. Okay, but then yes. it just died. Then my team just killed it. Um, it so and then the the last boss is great, right? The last boss is really cool. He's got phases. The platforms disappearing. There's kind of flames coming. And you have to do something. But the thing is. I think it's such a massive waste. This the thing looks amazing. The fractal looks awesome. It's like this Mines of Moria kind of Lord of the Rings look, mm. right? Looks amazing. Uh, the story is kind of cool as well. You're grave digging, grave digging a hole. You know what I'm saying, boys? Um, but then it's just it has no mechanics. It, mm -hmm. yeah. it, it it's just like you might. It's like a story fucking instance. It, it it's I don't know. It's like the perfect fractal free CM. I would love to see the voice. Uh, what's it called? Like the voice CM, dude. Think how cool that would be. The voice CM would be so good. But even, even if it was just a boss, like I I, yeah. I can get behind that. Even if they just put the, the CM thing at the very end and then put a CM for just the boss and then left everything else the same, I would be totally up for that. Give extra rewards for a daily CM in that fractal. That would be great. I feel like, um, I mean, I really enjoyed the fractal, but the bosses all feel too easy. You saw mm. Even even pugging it like I do with random people, still too easy. Like yeah, I, I plugged it like pretty soon after it came out. I think yeah. at every tier, I think I did it three or four times, and it was just ran in, stepped on some switches on the floor, hit some champions, and then go to the boss and just punch it for a mm. little while. Yeah. The puzzles are extremely easy. I'll I'll give it that, but I think it's it's more or less intentional. It's it's intended to be pretty easily overcome. Like I, mean, I don't really mind that the puzzles are easy. I just want more out of the bosses that are there. Yeah. Um, you know the, the air elemental boss or whatever it is that could be really cool if it was beefed up a little bit. The spider could be a little bit cooler if it's beefed up a little bit. You know, so I just wanted them to be a little bit more tougher than they were. I don't actually mind them being not tough. I do I do mind the last boss. I feel I feel if there's any any shortcomings it's it's the last boss just being um pretty pretty non-mechanical. Like it's just he doesn't he has two different attacks. One where you're in melee and one where you're in range and the one in range is like on a 10 second cooldown or whatnot. So if you're standing in range you only ever have to like scoot back and forth or just a a few few times here and there and he never he never touches you. Yeah, I feel like that's a bit of a, a of an offense. Um, but other than that, the other bosses, I kind of I kind of like that they just made them easy bosses, like for for the for the thematic of it. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Sure. I, I think. Uh, I mean, I might feel differently if we got fractals at a steadier at a faster pace, but yeah. having to wait. Well, we had two delayed patches in a row which is what this fractal came off the back of, it then feels a bit... feels a bit short, mm. if you will. But, but, okay, like, fractals, I feel like... Are supposed to be short. Yeah, they're supposed to be short, because you're supposed to do three a day. Well, not, not there's, short there's as in three length. Days. Short it as in, like, it doesn't feel like it's enough. Uh, mm. it's, it doesn't provide enough challenge for me personally. Doesn't provide enough satisfaction, but, even though I like the environment. But it's a low, it's a low level. I understand. High but tier. I had to wait six months for this fractal. 
It's that true. Feels bad but, after six months. But it it is the last um the last of the low level uh, in the uh, in the tier. Fair enough. I mean, I everything don't know. else, every every other double up is in the high nineties. Or I, the, I, like, I, I do understand. I understand all of that, but the fact that we waited six months, that we don't have a lot of five man content to begin with, and um, it just feels bad. It feels a little bad to me. I don't know. Yeah, now, I'm not trying to put that well, on the fractal team or anything. It's just the release schedule yeah. the way it is. Yeah, I. I... I don't think I would level the. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd level the criticism that it's not enough. I think the fractal is actually a really cool one. Um, it just feels really bad knowing that the last CM. It's been over a year since the last challenging five man content. That just feels bad. It's been um, what six months since the last raid as well. So the, the last challenging piece of content was six months ago, and the last five man challenging piece of content was over a year ago. I mean that's just it, it, that's just not right. I just don't I just don't think that's right. Uh, uh, yeah, there should definitely be more fractals. We should be getting more fractals than we are now. Uh, really, it, it it the fractal team is just I don't know. It just takes a while, and then there's no CM, and then they make a, a fractal that's kind of easy. Even what were the what were the achievements? Standards. One of them was hunting treasure chests, which was kind of fun. And One of them was uh, do the uh, do the spider and the elemental within the three minute timer. Oh, that's hard. We yeah, it, it's actually it, it was kind of it was it was actually surprisingly easy. Is that a hidden one we, or no? We were, we did that on this. No, it's not a hidden one. We did oh, that on I the. Uh, it, didn't even know. Jeez. Yeah, with my group, we 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 went in because like the first run was kind of just like oh we were walking about. Second time, uh, Ben kind of suggested, oh let's do the split tactic because like it, it, obviously that was that was the intended idea here, but. We were like, nah, we're, it, it, it's fine. Let's just uh, let's just jump on the spider, and the timer starts from the the spider uh, is dead. And you walk on to to the next one, and not even two minutes has passed, and we didn't really even try harder that much. It was kind of uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, mean, I do. I do agree, really agree with you here on this. Um, I don't think criticizing this fractal for its difficulty is particularly valid. I mean, personally, it does make me kind of sad, but they are supposed to be kind of easy, free farm. You know, get that fat yeah. loot, easy, easy cash money every day. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, fine, whatever. Like, um, I want, I want hard content as much as the next guy. Mm. I, I, I really do. But I just hate puzzles. I don't, I don't think that there's anything wrong with this one for it being easier. I think I, I agree uh, with you on that. I just I, I'm not trying to slate it puzzle. because it's easier, but I just wanted more out of that entire release. Yeah, yeah, fair, uh, yeah. That's a fair, yeah, um, yeah. Assessment. Well, I, I think ever I, I, it's pretty I difficult. Mean, I love, I love I, the aesthetic. I, yeah. I love, I like the story that's there. Oh, I don't yeah. even hate the bosses, but I, I finished it and I felt like, oh well, I want, I want a little bit more. You yeah. Know? They realize that the player base does not have the time to do three CMs a day. Give me three CMs a day, man. Let's go. Uh, yeah, and this virtual Yeti, what he's just said is kind of, this is kind of the sad truth. No one fucking does fractals. Um, not enough people anyway uh, for it to be. It's pretty, I reckon more people do raids than fractals, right? At this no. point. No. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I do. I think there's more daily daily fractals still going yeah. on than there are daily raids. I, I, I think the problem is that most people try to do fractals right at reset, and then it's devoid the rest of the day. Yeah, basically. yeah. I don't know, dude. I see a lot of that. I don't know. I kind of, feel, I, I kind of feel like not a lot. Of, okay, fine. When I when I say fractal, I basically, I, I mean CMs, really. I reckon more people oh, do. Okay. I'm more, well, more, more, more people do, <laughs> more, more people do um, raids than fractal CMs. Is kind of what I was going for there. I, th or, yeah, or, I think I, I don't know. Maybe. I think fractal CMs are harder than raids in a lot of scenarios. But that's why there's no. Uh, that's, that's why there's no. There's no more fractal CMs because I think they're it's, not. It's, I think they're not that popular. I think they're very considerably. Unpopular. It's considerably more. It, it's way harder to be carried through a fractal CM than it is a raid. It's very, very easy to be carried through a raid. Fractal yeah, CMs. I think that's kind of true. So much. I think that's kind of true. Fractal CMs put more more pressure on the individual player uh, yeah. mechanically than raids do. Like you said it yourself earlier, Tipa, if you're DPS in a raid, you have maybe one mechanic that you gotta. Gotta react. I think to. I said that. 
Did T Pawn say well, it too? Yeah, we probably that. both. I heard, I heard one of you guys say it at least, but yeah, it's like one mechanic of your DPS. Whereas in in fractals, you you sometimes got to do more than just that. <laughs> so what are the what are the good things we liked about the patch? The the beetle. I like the beetle. It's probably my favorite mount um, in its in its um, in the way that it handles. Not the looks like the, the it looks ugly, but I really really like. Um, the the whole speed racer hot wheels kind of deal it just it looks ugly i mean it looks like a beetle it's just like whatever uh, whatever dude the beetle is cute as fuck dude what okay. what what no i'm actually curious like what what about it visually do you really like what part of it just in like general beetles. Dude, he's, he's, okay. he's little, he's got the little fucking, <laughs> he's got his little arms. I mean, he looks cute. He's got the cute little legs. He's pretty no, cute, dude, okay? I'm not into okay. the beetle either. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. No, I, like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not roasting you. I was just really puzzled <laughs> by hearing that. Like, that caught me off guard. I mean, I, I, I feel like um, a, a lot of people with the bunny, they think that it's, uh, they don't like it because it looks just too cute. I feel like with the beetle, I... I would want more grit to it. I don't actually like that it looks cute. I feel yeah. like it's just like it just it looks weird. It, the the thematic visually for sure. uh, of like looking at the face, it, just, it feels off to me. But never mind. Like, it's still it's my favorite. Be, Can we get back to the cute fact cute. that the, it was? Yeah, it's supposed to be that. Can we get back to the fact that it was still my favorite mount? Yeah, I really, really, I really, really like the well, beetle. Like it, it moves more, as think. fast. It moves as fast as the fucking. Uh, Griffin, but on on the ground, it's just conditioned un otherwise, and I really like that. You'll you'll like it even more whenever they come out with the rolling toy skin for it. No, I don't which is the thing. inevitable. <laughs> That's the last inevitable. thing. I inevitable. Yeah, that, that, that two thousand two thousand gems. To it. I, I had a. Um, a ton of them. I have a pr I have a pretty sad story to tell here about the beetle. Actually, I was okay. extremely excited about the beetle. So excited that I built a uh, like a giant ramp, like downward sloped ramp in my guild hall. Giant, right in in the air. It took ages. It took like two hours to build this fucking ramp. And I get the beetle, and I'm so excited. I was on stream. I'm so excited to show off how the beetle worked. This is the first the inaugural run, and I speed boost down this fucking ramp, and the beetle just takes off. Because it's too too steep of a of a slope, oh, no. so it just flies off into the distance, and I can't use it for anything. I have to just delete the the slope now because it's just it's just wasted. Feels you're, bad. Uh, you're it's, using your nos a little too early there. That's where you're gonna lose. Yeah. To, I, I try people like me every time. What's the, thing what's, is, what's it's, the bad it's terminology for Fast and Furious? The double issue, the, the granny, issue granny the, shifting, uh, not double clutching like you should. <laughs> you, you almost had me. You <laughs> never had your car. Now me, now me and the mad scientist got to tear apart the block and replace those piston rings you find. You fried. That's how it goes. He almost had me. That's 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 that. Mm. That's that movie. I love that movie. Yeah. Wow. It you're surprises gonna, me not at all that you yeah. know the entire dialogue to this um, scene. <laughs> chat, chat is talking about saying that it, starting with zero endurance is a massive pain in the ass. Okay. Yes. Can we can oh, we not God. have that? I mean, that, that's really annoying. Just make put it in a mastery or something. Like speed, put uh, the speed lord. Just add that you can I, be the speed lord, right? It's so annoying, dude. It's Drift so annoying. king. Drift king. Ten mastery need... points. Yeah. Ten mastery fine. points. I think it's fine to have that, like the gate from the from the start but i feel like it's just too long five seconds would be fine the whole 10 seconds 12 seconds waiting time is is slightly too long just half it it's fine it needs to have that kind of limitation so you don't just like mount up speed out off and the moment that you lose right. uh, you lose uh the endurance you just mount down and mount back up and then you speed off again it's to prevent that like abuse of the the endurance bar, I guess. Uh, I, it, it bothers it, me. Does it really matter though? Does it does it really matter? Race well, yeah, cars. It, it matters. I don't know. It matters because uh, the moment that you take that away, you like the the initial launch, you it immediately invalidate the uh, condition for the uh, Griffin. They move at the same speed, but the Griffin has is 
in ex- insanely conditioned by you being at a, at a high, uh, high spot, jumping down, getting the speed. The beetle only has a timer, timed condition for it to hit that speed. The, be- and the moment that you take that away, the, the griffin is dead. No, the griffin can dead. fly, though. The griffin, yeah, flying the griffin is can, such... Yeah, but you have just a... Just speed off into the distance, get the, the bunny to jump over it, and then speed off again on the next well, the, part. The, you, know, the, the, you, can, you can steer way better on the griffin. You can, it, being in the air is a huge advantage. But, it, but the steering doesn't matter. The steering isn't, isn't punished when the moment that you mount up again, you instantly have the endurance. So you're, you're, you're not getting punished for bad steering. You, you're going to hit a wall, demount, and then just speed off again in, in another direction. If you don't have a gate, a hard gate on mount, you're going to invalidate the other mounts, and it, it's just—it's it's unfortunate, but that's that's really just what it is. The the raptor will be gone. Nobody's going to use that. The 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 jackal, extremely a niche thing. All of, all of a sudden, it's just eh. It has to be there, or else we're just invalidating everything else. Uh, I don't. That's all I'm arguing here. Ooh, uh, maybe I, last, I don't think I. That's I, the last I, thing we want. I think even if the beetle, even if the beetle had no endurance, I think it uh, had uh, no endurance wind up. I think it would still have. Um, I think it wouldn't invalidate any shit really, actually, because of how unwieldy it is compared to the other ones. I have oh, to say, it's not unwieldy though. It's it's. You guys don't know it, about it, the it, the meme with mount endurance, do you? What no. It's client side. Oh, you mean with the uh, the endurance refill thing? Is yeah. That... So there are, I I know people that have third party programs that are probably going to get detected with this patch, uh, but they have permanent mount endurance. So imagine that with the beetle. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty busted from what I've seen them do with it. Right. Pretty funny. I do have some interesting friends. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah all right. I don't know. But yeah. speaking of speaking of that, um Boots has like the the one of the fastest Boots is Drift King. The fir- DK, the fastest times. But DK Boots. Seeing his video made me realize uh, where the bug originates from um uh, me not being able to, uh, and probably nobody else at 274 being able to uh, actually beat his time, because a bug appears when you hit the third mastery, in which your endurance will not reset properly when you hit the uh, the checkpoints in the race. So it is literally impossible for anyone with full beetle mastery. To complete uh, the race the same as uh, the same way that Boots did it. Oh shit! So what yeah. you're saying is <laughs> you cannot don't learn, do. Don't... Wait, I think Inks. Three. Sorry. Oh wait, hang on. Inks is DDoS. Oh, just me. oh, oh, there he is. Oh, he's back. I'm back. There you are. Sorry, Inks, you said. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on today. Wait, wait, you were saying something. Oh, uh, I said don't don't learn the third mastery, and then you can beat Boots. Exactly. I don't exactly. have the third mastery learned yet. Still takes, so still, learn still it still takes a lot of practice though to beat Boots because that that's, is that's fine. That's fine. I'm up, for, I'm up for that, but uh, I'll just never learn the third mastery. <laughs> Tricks are stupid. Don't, anyway. don't worry. The, you don't want to get any XP anyways in this. Uh, it's good. I'll map, so it's fine. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. New map. Huh. What is going oh, yeah. on? The, Another annoyance with the uh, with the beetle that I have, which I was kind of uh, getting to with the whole uh, killed whole thing, is that it's it, it doesn't it doesn't really distinguish between big slopes and small slopes, and that annoys me when the the guild hall decoration system only has a one kind of slope uh, as a decoration. Mm. Um, it's all just about speed, but you can basically get the same airtime from a tiny little mount. Uh, the same as like a huge whatever slope, and that that's just going to ruin all uh, race tracks in the guild hall, unfortunately. Mm. Um, yeah, please give, guild us, please give uh, us all their uh, slopes. Guild halls are kind of a little bit of a, a meme. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah. That is saying, true. Those, yeah. those got abandoned so fast. And you know what? Can, can, you, can you? I cannot believe this though. Okay. Can, can I, there is no mount race in the new map. No, there's a train, a beetle training race or yeah. whatever. They there's call an adventure, it. right? Yeah. But how is there no massive race around the entire map? Fail. Why is, is that it the is case? Literally fail. That's just crazy. That's crazy. I mean, you know, the adventure is cool. That's it's, it's cool. You know, that's fine. But why is there no actual mount race? In, what the fuck? Boots is good at this. K DK boots. D yeah. DK he boots. Literally. I want to buy a steering wheel. Like, did you play with racing <laughs> games? And I want to play the Beetle with that. He like, rank three. So very two bad. Better than him. Well, yeah, but no, like he, those no, people, he, like he beat, Mesmer uh, Portal. He's on on. Uh, he beat it. He's on second place, I think. Yeah, there are people like uh, I that have beaten it in like six seconds because they just Mesmer Portal through the whole thing. Like, <laughs> you apparently don't even have to be on the Beetle to do it. Uh, you do have to start it, right? Yeah. Oh, you didn't start it, but then I guess you, yeah, then I guess you could just unstart it, right? Wait, <laughs> well, you can, you can start it, then just get off the mount, and then it works, I think, right? Yeah. That is pretty funny, actually. I guess, that would be very a very elaborate portal setup, though. Fucking hell. Hmm. That's what people are going to spend their time on. They're going to figure out how to set up portals instead of getting good at the game. Because yep. they can put their taco markers down for their portals every time and yeah. just just AFK instead of learning mechanics and, and raids and fractals. Uh, oh, someone's asking me about will they ever change this map? The answer is absolutely not. Um, no. For, no. for example, never touch it again. For, for example, Bitterfrost. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember a very long time ago? There was actually, I believe, this was in the post. Actually, um, the Bitter Cold is supposed to be this high-end elite rewarding area in the north right and on release it's literally empty and has nothing in it there's zero incentive to go and anywhere. and it was bugged by the I way make the stuff guys we should even flame harder than this map actually for better frost because the entire map mechanic including the story was that you make this um elixir that makes you immune to the cold right so you make the elixir right then you go to the bitter cold, and there's still nothing there. Like the entire map mechanic is completely obsolete. It's just, what? What? The, the, the potion, the potion was bugged too. If you did the story, you couldn't make the potion again. Yeah. Someone says it's you the couldn't... same team, by the way. It's yeah, the you, you couldn't, you couldn't buy the like flaming heart or whatever from the Grawl, and you couldn't make the potion. Yeah. So you couldn't even go back. Yeah, like that um, happened to me. I mean. It's hard to know if members moved around in Team 3, but supposedly it's the same team. I think this is, yeah. Periodically, there's just something off. It wouldn't be surprising if it was the same team. I mean, I, I hate to just, like, wreck you guys so hard, because I actually really do feel bad about, like, all the shit that you're all getting. But, like, it, this was such a disaster. This was when it needed to not be a disaster because you have like all of oh, the yeah, online play, yep, people yeah, yeah. coming over. This patch, you said it on stream the other day when we mm. were on stream. This patch needed to be flawless and perfect yeah. and just everything needed to be knocked out of the, and it is just yep. the opposite of that. Every like it, playing basketball, every single, you know, pass or like traveling instead of dribbling you throw the ball and it just goes out of bounds you just air ball over the net like it, it was just oh god so bad such a mess yeah yeah uh, I, honestly if, are, we if still, it, it, are we still expecting the raid to be coming to be coming i mean yeah it's gonna be i, I, mean, I mean eventually like, coming eventually but last week i was talking about them like just having pushed the raid a few weeks and I feel like there's there's still no real sign of that happening. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I if it doesn't come soon, oh God, um, there there is just going to be I don't know. The the raid scene is already kind of bleeding out. I mean, I I and this is something that actually yes. really saddens me. I really want to talk about this, and I, I hope they don't mind. But Crossroads Inn, right? Like the training guild, right? 
aren't running. I think they're they're on like a break or some shit, dude, because they don't have enough interest right now in training runs. Like the training guild is on. It, it, this is public. It's in their Discord, right? Okay, that to me is so fucking sad, dude. Are you kidding me? They're not. They're not doing as much as they were because like no one wants to play the fucking raids because it, it, it's it's dying. It's just I don't know, dude. It makes me sad. Or maybe the and, community has just gotten so good. Yeah, they don't need training. training anymore. They don't need training. Oh, side, right? yeah, that certainly isn't the case. Yeah, that certainly isn't the case. Yeah. Um, if if it is coming in a couple of weeks, I wish they would just. I wish they would say something. Yeah, I, I think it's more than a couple of weeks away. My fingers are crossed on any kind of information on Tuesday, even though I don't believe it to actually be. I happening. am terrified that it's not going to be until um, autumn yeah. or fall for our uh, yeah, it, other it, viewers. If we if we don't get a if we don't get any information on it within the next three weeks, I believe it is something like that. We're looking at mm. yeah the next living story, which is like three months down the line. That's you know, you, the and you guys thing. last week on Tea Time was it maybe I think it was last week maybe. You guys were talking about communication and all that. Not, you know, I, I think I think they need to go back to, and I know this is probably going to fall in deaf ears for the most part, but they need to go back to setting down some kind of roadmap and talking to us. Mm. It's okay if you fail to meet those expectations, as long as you say just not this hard. Well, it, well, it, it, yeah. it's, you just need to say, look. Things have changed. We're not going to hit that deadline anymore. Half of our staff quit, and we're just screwed. Just give us well, an extra and another thing. Is is this the? It, I, I mean, I don't want to be a, a toxic elitist, but if it's another wing four, I mean, fucking hell, boys. I mean, that's going to hurt, right? If if the boss is a face roll and there are no repeatable CMs, then yikes, guys. Okay, yikes. Uh, for the for the for the raid scene, I suppose. And you know what? Maybe the raid scene isn't that important. And you know what? That's probably true because I guess it's not that big. Uh, but it would be sad, right? That the you know the most elitist and you know dedicated players kind of get bopped, right? Like, boop. but that would be a little but sad. Hold on, I would I would counter that with five thousand plus people watching the raid tournament. You, you might, you know, some people might say raiding is not that big of an uh, of a community or an environment with lots of players. But when you do a raid tournament and it gets 5,000 plus people, that's pretty significant for Guild Wars 2. Mm. Yeah, that's like more than watch, like... It's more than PvP. More than by like probably twice. And more than any other streamer. That was the same thing with like one of the dungeon tournaments we did. It was the same day as Worlds, like World PvP. Or like they were paying people like actual prize money, and we had like I think as much or more viewers the entire time. It was literally the same weekend, like same day. So, it, it, so it doesn't matter five thousand out of how many. What matters is that it is the most viewed thing on yeah. Twitch when it comes to Guild Wars Two, which is a which is a format that ArenaNet likes to use to promote the game. But they 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 want to push the like. Here we go offending people. They want to push the, like, Care Bear, casual, like, everyone is welcome, whatever. That, that, that's what they want to sell. Peace sells, but who's buying, if I'm going to quote Megadeth here. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean, that could, you, there's definitely an argument that was kind of my fault. Uh, I, I, I think the name is kind this, of funny. I thought the name was kind this of funny. Too. I read it. Didn't okay. Did I invent the name or was that? You? Yeah, it was I you actually. It. it was you. Yeah, I'm pretty, okay. I invented the name. Yeah. So yeah. it's just it's my personality and yeah. my name from the very beginning. That's really <laughs> <laughs> bad, man. The, the, the you're, face you're sort of missing the, the point. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say the name. If the population is 100k, which, by the way, the population is probably larger than 100k. Yeah, definitely. 5,000 yeah. is nothing, but 5,000 is more than you see generally on YouTube as far as concurrent viewers. It's more than you see on... It's the most you see on Twitch. Yeah. So it's more than you see generally in Reddit as far as interaction goes. So my point is that people want to watch uh, people who are very good at raids, high-tier raiders, complete it in a challenge mode format meaning that you need new raids in order to keep doing that sort of thing and keep it interesting and fresh. 
Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He's right, you know. Yeah, yeah. he is right. Yeah I, yeah, I agree. I get that shit. I get that shit. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't. I think that oh, maybe they just know that the Raiders are so sticky, right? I, re, you're not going to get rid of me, okay? All right. I mean, I'm still going to be here, okay? You, very difficult to get rid of me, uh, but others might be less sticky. It's just, it's just a little shame. Um, this this patch could have really been amazing for a Raider, and I think it kind of ended up a little mediocre to below average, really, um, and that that feels bad right like when you have all these people running away from the other games like you have a bunch of big uh, you know some big youtubers talking about like you know walking away moving away from bdo and stuff like that like some new streamers have come across from bdo and then the patch yeah. is a bit of a fiesta like that that you don't want that i mean yeah you, it's it's a real shame it's a real this could shame. have does if if there was a it, we haven't even talked about the story at all. I no, guess maybe yeah. like spoilers. <laughs> I think we're going to disagree on that. If, okay, we're going to disagree so, on the story. We are going to disagree. Well, no, any, anyway, <laughs> they could have had a map with a three-lane uh, meta event where you push through the fortress that was just brilliant and mind-blowing. They could have had the beetle mount, which is honestly pretty good. Like a collection that's like moderate that you can do in like a day or two that's like really rewarding. Like the unlock is just, ah, oh, just, ah. Oh. They could have had a collection to get people into collections, a map to get people into open world, the back piece, the ascended trinkets for all the new players to get fairly quickly. They could have had the fractal that's like moderately difficult that the new players can just go get into the fractals and start doing fractals. They could have had a raid if they released a raid. They could have had like content for literally every single type of player in this release. Every single type of player. Imagine... If an update like that had come through, when Bless Online just like literally like it had a it, it had a horizontal butt crack instead of a vertical one. That's how bad of a disaster it was. And uh, people quitting BDO because it's a joke. Imagine if they came to Guild Wars 2, they're just blown away by Arena Net. Just but but big, big I, I like to point out because because you, because you're you're completely right, and I don't disagree in any way, shape, or form here. But um on the on the guild chat on friday they did say that this map has actually been in the works for about a year this this whole that makes patch it worse, has been that doesn't make it in better. the process for about a year the beetle has been they've been working on the beetle since before the launch of path of fire and that makes sense the mount mm -hmm. the mount situation makes sense to huh. me um so like if we look at it that way, it's hard to time it with a bless offline situation. Well, yeah, but I do see where you. I'm, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying time it. I'm just saying imagine. No, no, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Oh my god, if that I, happened. Yeah. Also, I, no. if they've been working on this map for over a year, then. Not. Well, yeah. It it. it. It's, certainly, they wanted to, um, you know, they wanted to. De they, I imagine the mount has been in development for certainly much longer than the cycle, because yeah. I, I, I would imagine developing a mount is probably one of the more complex things that they sure. do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's certainly not easy. Uh, yeah, I, and I imagine they had to fiddle around with some stuff to get the physics to work right, which are actually really good. Um, incidentally, guys, it's really not all that bad, you know. Uh, but <laughs> that's an Omega yikes from me. Okay. Um, the, people are forgetting that Silver Waste, the map will not, Kuro, the map isn't going to change, buddy. I mean, <laughs> the, the, only, the only way the map will change is if people flame the fuck out of it so hard to the point they feel they have to. Um, but, yeah, it, well, it, and Sil Silver Waste is the farming place for like all of the like free to play and like just core account people who don't have the expansion. Feels bad. Like that's it. P Silver Waste will have a population until the end of time. Like it yeah. just always will. It's still a good farm, even for people with the expansions. Yep. Yeah. Feels, feels bad, man. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy thought, man. So. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to the new Beetle Mount, to kind of sum all that conversation up, the Beetle Mount is actually really good. Uh, yeah. There you go. The Beetle is good. Yeah, it's, the Beetle is very good. I hate collections. People love it. I, I hate collections more than any other player in this community. Wow. <laughs> more than anyone i i didn't have the griffin mount until like a week ago because i hate collections that much and as soon as i realized that it was a collection i just said i'm not doing this i'm not doing this 
I finally sucked it up and did it. I hated every second of it. It took me a week to unlock it, even though you could probably do it in about an hour because it has hearts. I hate hearts. I don't have one personally. Maybe that's why. But just, <laughs> just, oh God, collections. It's a bit boring, I but it wasn't too collection. bad. And the beetle was fine. I enjoyed everything with the beetle because it's like, you know, it's a beetle. You're feeding him. There's a Zura meme humor that's actually not like 12th grade, like writing class. It was actually pretty solid. Like it was the interact. It was, it was, it, the collection was good. The mount was good. I liked it. It was great. That's coming from somebody that hates mm. every other collection in the game. Mm. To the point where, like, I just just refuse to do them. It's good. It's it was good. It is good. It is good. Yeah, the co the collection was fine. Uh, the thing that annoyed me was the alpha beetle, uh, because it it's like it's like a veteran mob that well, they buffed it now to the yeah. champion. Yeah, they, they changed yeah. it. Now. That was the only annoying thing. I I I pers okay, and this is where I, I you know I, I shoot me Brazil. I actually really like the Griffin collection. Uh, I do. Yeah. I do really enjoy. I do like collections actually. Like yeah, that Griffin. Uh, I actually do have fun. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, so the Beetle one, honestly, if anything, it was a little, uh, it was, it was fine. It was, it was fine. It was not bad. A little, um, little resident sleeper. But yeah, I mean, okay. I, 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 really, like... I, I realized they made it a little simple because they wanted it to the Beetle map to be more accessible sure. than the Griffin. Fine. Yeah, right, it sure. really should be. Um, Don't you need it for map completion too? The beetle? Yeah, yeah, yeah you do, yeah. Aren't yeah, you there do. POIs well, that you well, have to break you can, the You can leave it up with other, you other players. Really, yeah. you, you, don't strict, least, yeah. you don't strictly need it, because you can kind of get someone else to do it for you, but yeah, yeah, yeah you, you do. So, yeah, sure, it was nice. And yeah, I, I, My opinion on it is it, it's very, uh, it's a good in-between. It's a good in-between. Like, the, the, the Griffin was like a hard, long, legendary-ish, mm. almost, collection. And every other mount is just like handed to you through a heart. Yeah. And this one is like the good in between. It's it's yeah. not really hard. It's just like three three yeah. quite three quests accessible uh, quests. Sure. Yeah. I, yeah. I kind of prefer it when they inject it into the story, which the beetle kind of wasn't. Yeah, but... it, well, it it kind of was. It, it was really detached was, yeah. enough. Mm. It was detached like a raid story, or it's like it's like yeah, it's meta story, off to of. the side. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I think it was fine. Yeah, I think it was fine. It was good. Uh, I I enjoyed it. I had some fun. Um, and yeah, not too bad. Uh, yeah, one of the one of the things that makes me sad about legendaries is that there aren't those collections anymore. Like I really enjoyed doing Chuka and Champa. That was great, right? What, dude? At least, yeah. dude, yeah, me they're too. so good. The legendary the, the, like... the legendary collections are so good. Dude. I like half half of the <laughs> look at his face. I love it. Face. Half of the collection is good. Hunting down the tigers and that part is good. Crafting the pieces is boring and terrible, but you need the money sink, right? So I wish they would, and we've said this before, we've had this discussion before. I think that in those cases, that stuff should be put at the very end of the collection and let you play through the, the story bits, you know, in one fell swoop instead of interrupting it because you play some of the story to get Shuka and Chunkawat, then you craft a bunch of crap, then you play through story. And you craft a bunch of crap, and then you make your legendary. And I would rather just play through the fun parts and craft and then at the craft end. Craft a bunch of crap at the end. That, well, I I think but that dodges anyway. the issue. I think that dodges the issue. I think the crafting system in this game is just it's just it's just ass, well, isn't it? I it mean, is. they they should just make it better. They just need to make it better. Like right right now, this is this is how you make a legendary, guys. You buy all your materials. You stand next to a crafting table and you wait like half an hour for a progress bar to spam really fast. Like, fucking hell, boys. I mean, that. Oh, yeah. Uh, legendary journey, boys. You know, like, ugh. yikes. Uh, you know, that ain't, that ain't so good. Um, but, I don't know. I, I, yeah. it's, I kind of miss those collection quests and I realize there are a lot of works they didn't do them. Feels bad, man. At least I did it for the precursors, but honestly, I just buy the precursors. Can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, I, I did the, the collection for Hope. <laughs> Um, yeah, you enjoyed? No, it was good. And then he was out of it. And no, I didn't enjoy that. Yeah. I think I did it in I mean, two Hope days. Is like, no, Hope is like the worst one of them. Oh, I agree. Like of the I, entire I, bunch, and I've done basically I all of them. Completely it's... agree with that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was. I believe, but at uh, least, at least, least I don't know. compared to all the other like crap, just like crafting station uh legendaries that we we've, we've gotten with the living story at least this time 
they took the decency to add just a little bit of um, of lore, at least on the uh, on the release page. At least there's that because every other legendary that we've had out since they scrapped the collections has just been devoured of any life. You craft it and it's there, and it's yeah. like eh. Uh, but yeah. I, I kind of realize why that happens. Uh, that you know they're they're trying to make it more streamlined so they can actually get the legendaries out. You you do have to consider that. Uh, can you imagine like the beads of sweat dripping off Arena's face? Because bear in mind these are still legendaries from the Heart of Thorns expansion. Oh yeah. Okay. Even though this one is actually arg this, this oh we can talk about the well, yeah this segues nicely onto the legendary Warhorn, uh, which actually is more which is Path of Fire themed really isn't it? It's it's the ghosts, the primeval it ghosts. Should have, well, yeah, well, it's it, grant related. It should have actually been there with the last patch. It wait. should have mixed in with the the Hall of Chains, the last patch, the Hall of Chains yeah. update. That's yeah. where it fits in, because the lore basically says that it, while it's in its ethereal form, it's technically in the underworld. And mm. like the whole underworld thematic, it fits much better in there than it does with the primevals here, I guess. But, I guess. Uh, yeah. I suppose. I, yeah. I digress. Yeah, I suppose. But but still, I, yeah, do, what, what, yeah. what do we think of the new legendary? I actually think it's pretty cool. I don't mind it. I think I really it's, like it. I, I might. I might it. Yeah, I, might, I think I might craft this one. I like this one. I might go for it. I d and I don't even use Warhorn, really. It's He's a big boy. I, I crafted it. He's a big boy. Indeed it is. Yeah. I feel like if any... If, if there's going to be any kind of legendary Warhorn coming out, that would, like, wow people. This is a really good... This is a really good the design for it. My initial why reaction was a bit... Why, why, why couldn't the Warhorn be a Choya and you just blow into its ass? <laughs> well, because of that. That's out of burp noise? Yeah. You Why would just... they? I don't know they can do oh, that. That would be something, wouldn't it? That, I mean, that really would be something that's true. That is I mean, certainly it's, true. It's the rooster warhorn. Yeah, the rooster warhorn. Yeah. Rooster warhorn and the silly sword ultimate combo. You... <laughs> <laughs> I like this. The silly sword is fucking good shit, dude. Okay. Yeah, silly that's shit good. Guitar. That's good. Uh, yeah, I really like the warhorn, actually. It's cool. I like it. Be thumbs up, thumbs up. We should. Uh, I don't. You know, I don't yeah. like it, but that's probably not a surprise at this yeah. point. You don't like anything, Brazil. You hate yeah, everything. I like some. No, it just means that the things that I do like are that much more valuable to me. Yeah. Okay. Unless Bagawan was right all along. Bad. <laughs> but yeah, let's call Bagawan, dude. Brazil, do you even oh, have? And do you have even have anything good in your life, man? Okay, come on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <That's bad. laughs> I'm not going there. Uh. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, it is a shame it doesn't have any custom um, audio, but I guess yeah, it's like the Warhorn. The Warhorn Who plays with uh, with yeah, audio on, anyways, in this game. The Warhorn I has a slightly the, different sound. I turned the music off, but I play. I see. I seen people complaining about that. The Warhorn actually does have its own sound. It's uh, it's, it's not subtle. that distinctive, but it is different from regular Warhorn. Oh, okay. Just busted. I'm fake news. Never mind then. Well, yeah. it's pretty cool then. Okay, good. Fine, it's good. It's even yeah, better I than I thought. Tech, Tech it did a video and didn't include the sounds where mine did. And oh. people are like, where's the audio? Why didn't oh, you? And oh. he's like, oh, it doesn't have a special sound. And people are like, uh, yeah, it does. Go listen again. Oh, okay. Well, watch this video. No, uh... mind. Watching's video to find out the truth about the new legendary Warhorn. Boom! Easy. Yeah. Well, okay, I'll uh, check it out, but there, you know, yeah, Tech it exposed. Tech it is exposed. Uh, Ings actually hates <laughs> Tech it's workshop that we're starting beef right here. <laughs> I'm jealous. Yeah. Okay, jealous. it's we're gonna do the uh, Inks Tech it debate now. Okay, we're just gonna it's call happening. up. I'm gonna call Tech it. I have him on Discord. Let's call him. Have you ever had him on tea time before? No. No. Oh, have you asked him? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait a... Well, the ultimate tea time. 
I love that answer. Tech it, me, and Bic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, who else? I feel, I feel like you and Bic would just drown no, out any honestly, time yeah. to get out. Honestly, yeah. Brazil and Bic tea time would be, well, like, I, I might as well just not talk. Like, there's not, it's just going to be, we the, the debate will be very in intense. Thoughts. And yeah, Angels, record, holy like shit. That. <laughs> yeah, that would be good, dude. That would actually be insane. Completely. That would be Angel's, fucking was, sick. Angels already, he, he already, I took him to Ram Ranch. When we oh, yeah. Yeah. He, I, did, did yeah. You guys have a good time? <laughs> Angels and I are friends now, but oh my god, I, oh, okay. I just ran over him with, about, about, about Dead Eye. <laughs> yeah, let's, what, should we talk about the story last, since people probably don't want to have it spoiled? Good, good thing. Yes. Yeah, that, that, wait. Oh, is like, that your segue into getting to talk more about Angels here? Because <laughs> I thought I you were gonna, I thought you were gonna like segue off of this. Stuff. There was a I'm deeper saying. story about Ram Ranch and you and Angels. <laughs> <laughs> Ram Ranch. <laughs> Uh, well, so the story. Wait, do we want to talk? Are we going to do the story? Or are we gonna, oh, because what else do we yeah. have? Wait, do we have Why anything not? else? Well, everyone's I, played it at this point. Yeah, right? yeah it's yeah. fixed. Or yeah, it's yeah. not fixed, but there is, we haven't played it. We're going to spoil it for you. You should spoil it. There, there, there is one more thing. There is one more thing actually that we can talk about before the story. Okay, before we get into the spoilerific territory, and that is, guys, tomorrow there is going to be a patch about alliances. World patch. versus world. Oh, no, a patch. Uh, sorry, a post. Apologies. A post. A yes. post. Yeah, yeah. Not a patch. That would be Ready. silly. They're not going to just kind of put alliances yeah. in the game. Okay. Yes, no, either. we're not doing that. Okay. No, there is a post about alliances tomorrow, guys. Uh, maybe, hopefully. Um, Release. And that is going to be exciting. So, alliances are coming tomorrow. All right. I'm no, alli no yeah. alliances are not coming tomorrow. <laughs> Teapot says alliances are coming tomorrow. No. Right Clip post Spread the message. No. No, guys, you guys are fucking fake. You're all fake news. All right. No, alliances <laughs> are not tomorrow, guys. That's not happening. I mean, that is really exciting, guys. We might be getting some dank information. Maybe we'll have some info about the 2v2 in there as well. Because there is still supposed to be 2v2 tournament and game mode coming for a while. Okay, nope. Okay, never mind. Okay. Ben just shuts yeah, me man. down, just like punches me in the face. Nice. Oh, okay, no. nope. Yeah, okay, well, no. We need the info just on the alliance. Okay, just on the No, that's fine. Alliance. I like that. The juicy details. Give us all the juicy details. Yeah, I want that details. sauce, dude. I want that sauce. That is very exciting. Uh, and that kind of, that would indicate to me that alliances are not that far away. Because if they're in the, you're in the feedback stage. I think right? they it's want going the info. to be that. I think the article is going to say alliances are very far away. That's it. Yeah. Wait, and what? Period. <laughs> you guys are so I think, <laughs> I think it's so going to say something like we we've developed we've further developed this idea. We have something some ideas that we want to ping pong off you and uh, and kind of get some feedback on this, these ideas whether we should move forward with this. I think that's what's what's going to happen. Don't get too hyped about it being guys. We're getting alliances. No, in like no, get two hyped. Weeks. What up? It's happening. Don't this... don't get that hype. Don't. Think about the most exciting thing in your life. This will be ten times better. Get what? that hyped. Get that hyped. Get hyped, yep. boys. Get fucking hyped. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's it's to be to be a bit serious, I'm sure that it's probably going to be, you know, this is what we're working on. This is what we're thinking about. Uh, you know, I don't think it's necessarily that close. I have an idea mm. for new fractal. Okay. Okay. You start out in the world versus world like starting area, like your camp, and Goon Squad and SFG, SFD are just barrag barraging you with siege and ballistas and arrow carts. And you have to push through and destroy them with Ascalon Char. And you get into Stone Mist Castle, and it's just Cletus with his B costume. And you have to spend an hour and a half breaking his bar and just slowly DPSing him. And that's the fractal. It's brilliant. So it's basically urban battlegrounds, but bigger. Yeah, but with goons and Cletus. But with goons. <laughs> yeah. When Cletus, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Indeed. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the story. Yeah, the story. <laughs> now, they, okay, we've done all the toxicity and negativity at the start. Dude, ArenaNet did so fucking well in this episode dude seriously arena yeah. did so well they executed this story it's it seriously it is 
if this had worked on launch, I wouldn't have said this patch was a clown fiesta. Seriously, this was so... I love the story, man. I absolutely love the story. They had the cutscenes. They had the cool fights. They had some fucking puzzles. Uh, the story flowed well. Timey didn't make me want to kill myself. Uh, there was some, like, edgy shit where, like, Blish is, like, screaming in pain. It was like, oh, it... Yes, this story episode was awesome, dude. I really, really enjoyed this. Joko was hilarious. They gave Bram a personality, which I thought was impossible. <laughs> uh, it, yes, <laughs> seriously, just hats off to reading that. They absolutely fucking nailed it. Only criticism is that um, they didn't stretch out to another episode because now joko has gone and I'm sad. Seriously, uh, seriously, you and I agree. this this is actually probably. The best story episode ArenaNet has ever done. Seriously, I abs, I really, that really, really enjoyed says it. a lot. Uh, that no, really says I, a lot. I really enjoyed the story. Actually, I think it was great. It was funny. Uh, it didn't, you know, uh, the gameplay was pretty good, except for that one time I got stuck in a root. That was a bit unfortunate, and I, I couldn't get out. Uh, that was an, <laughs> that was annoying. But yeah, it was good. Very good. Good instances. Maybe the uh, you know the stealth section was maybe a little easy, but I mean who cares, right? It was it was kind of. I fun. feel like for the first time ever, I can't I can't match your hype level. Yeah. On, <laughs> on like a on like a it, story, it like, didn't get usually, bogged down in the age. We're, we're pretty on par, the, yeah. the two of us here with like how good we think. I I it was, it was good, but I can't match like I can't match that at all. My favorite part is the Joko statue taking a shit. That's my favorite <laughs> well, part of the patch. Yeah. <laughs> By the farm, yeah. be squatting down, yeah. taking a little poop nap right on the farm. Yeah. That's know. my favorite part. I just thought, it, I just thought it was for the for, for one of the first times. I thought, wow, this is actually um a lot of in Guild Wars too, and this might seem a little harsh. But I felt like that. Yeah, I know the story's okay, the writing's okay, not bad. But in this episode, I thought, damn. This is actually some funny writing. I actually thought it was a very well written episode. The ending, I, I was always thinking, like, how are they going to get rid of Joko? Like, he's immortal, right? Like, you can't really kill him. You're going to have to do some kind of bullshit that disables his, like, resurrection. It's like, kind of, like, it's going to feel lame. But the ending is so perfect for the character of Joko, right? Yeah, it's like, so lame. Really? I, I don't, I dis I, I disagree completely, actually. It, it's, it's the I opposite. I got caught off guard. I yeah. really did. I got caught off guard because I didn't see it yeah. coming. And, it, and because of that, it kind of felt a little bit tagged on. But yeah. it, it didn't, it, it only took me a second playthrough of that story to really appreciate how, how good that last story instance actually was done. Mm. I feel like it was probably the perfect ending to the character. I finally actually found Joko to be a really good character, like yeah. an engaging villain right at the end. Um, I think that's... And then it just, he got ripped away. So yeah, that's, my, the perfect that's time. my problem. That's my problem with the story. I don't think it's the perfect time. It is. Um, like, I like him. He needs to die now. No, no that's, they, that's they, not what you yeah, do yeah, with characters yeah. that you write. That's exactly what you got to do with the characters. You you gotta engage in a in a in a universe where we don't care about any of the characters. You need to kill off the characters <laughs> that we actually care about. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so Joel needs to die off, right there. The uh, yes, yes, because we don't care about any of the other characters because they've all dragged uh, been dragged out. They've all survived oh everything. God. Dear God, they're they've all I just become bland non-characters. Joko suddenly had a character. He was he was menacing. He was evil. He was he was badass. And then he got he had taken away from us, and and it, it was perfect. It was perfect. We couldn't continue from there on without the story becoming shitty again. Joko wouldn't go think, another episode without just degrading. I don't. Hmm. I don't. Mm, I don't know about that. Hmm. I, I think I think they did a really good job this episode getting people to like him. I think that the monologue and stuff was written fairly well. Oh, Brazil's going to disagree, but that's fine. Um, and that end scene, that end cut scene, where he's snapping his legs back together, he's <laughs> fixing himself up. I, mean, I, I loved it. I was enthralled. Yeah. But then to have Arie come in and just bite his dick off and kill him. Where is it? I mean, you know, it's, it's perfect ending. Yeah. It's perfect nah, ending for I, I don't know. I, I think they should have... And don't get me wrong, I, I'm not a writer. I don't have a good direction necessarily to take it one more episode. Hey, I don't think you're alone with that, Inks. But I, I think, um, what, that I'm not a good writer? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're the only one. Um, but I, I think they, I think you could have gone one more episode and it would have felt a little bit better to me. 
Um, I guess there's something to be said about the surprise Aureen bites him and gets sick or whatever, but that was the only part of the patch that I, that really, like, and it didn't ruin the story for me. It didn't make me hate the story or anything like that, but it was the only part I didn't really like very much. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's fair. I suppose that, you know, at the, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to some, a bit of personal taste. But for me, this was great. Joko just taunting you the entire time. I just, I just love that shit, man. Calling I love you I, idiots I, I, and uh, morons. And I, yeah, I, I love that love, kind of dynamic. It. I love the I when like, the you villain know what, Joko, is. You're right. We are. Yeah. The, the player character is a freaking moron. I just love that kind of com comic relief character. He's kind of he's he's not a serious villain. He's kind of making fun of you. Uh, he's Brand also a little silly. Great. You know, he's he's cracking jokes. He's cracking one liners the entire time. Just mm. yes, I'm sad to see him go. But yeah, I can definitely see where Daroya's coming from. Um, with the yeah, maybe maybe he would have got stale. Maybe I would have liked to see more, but. May I you know what? I feel like I, I can feel like he was it. already stale, and uh, and this patch kind of gave him life and edge and mm. pulled all of that staleness up to a, a much higher level. Yeah. It needed it Maybe. needed to like the way that the character ha had been done previously. I feel like he needed to be killed off right there, like when he he was on a high. Yeah, he needed to just to just die. I just and I don't I don't really like his death. I think his death does it quite a bit of injustice. Oh. Do you think it's perfect though? Because he's a silly character, so shouldn't he have kind of have a bit of a silly ending? Especially when it, it, it he's he's doing all this BM like he's kicked your ass, like we're all like we're about to get eaten, we're about to get wrecked by him, and then just the, he gets eaten by a dragon. That's, I think that's just I think that's just a good ending. Because otherwise, otherwise, would you rather have that, or would you rather go into ah yes, we're gonna have to get a magical sword or a magical spell that will disable his regeneration? Dude, this shit ain't Doctor Who. Like, get, come on, get miss me with that shit. Like, I, I don't want to. No, Doc, it, Doctor Who is way worse than this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Oh, I don't know. I, 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 I don't still know. didn't like it. Mm. Well, okay. In that case, I think we've we've said enough for a while. Brazil, drop the hammer. So I, I think just about every every story mode since like what season? How long has Timey and Bram and Rock? How long have they been in it since, since the beginning of Living World? Yeah, yeah, like, I, yeah, yeah. Since like season season one? Yeah, because yeah. we meet season Bram one, and the, Rock. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So like every story episode that we've had since like the whole entire gang has been together has been. Timey solves a problem. Bram gets mad and hits something. The commander has a big heart, but ruins everything. Timey is in trouble. Somehow the commander solves the problem. And then there's a cliffhanger. And then it just repeats the next episode. And the most critical step is Timey is in trouble. That's just a step. That's how, the, that's how they all go. So first of all, I think the ending... The ending was correct. Inks is wrong. This is this is how this is how he should have ended because he threw his temper tantrum when Orin came and like messed up the scarabs and burned them all. Because he's just having a party with the commander, making us run around and step on things on the ground, and Orin sets it on fire. And then he actually like throws a temper tantrum about it. So the ending was correct because he's just monologuing, and then Orin just comes in and eats him. And he explodes into magic. That, that was correct. But the rest of it, like, Joko, since, like, the beginning of, since how long he's been in the story, is just this, like, 300 IQ, like, Ted Nugent, I'm the puppet master god of information, and I'm just going to troll you. And, like, that, that's his character. His, his character is literally like Ted Nugent or Donald Trump, but undead <laughs> and immortal. So, like, it was correct to just have him get vored by a dragon at the end. But, like, I, there's, I, I, like, I don't know what else to say. Like, it's just, you, you run through some puzzles, you go in, and you're just, you're just, you're just in his trap all along, Joko, the just evil genius. And you get to the end, and you beat him, but he knew you were going to win, and then he gets up and traps you and monologues. And then it, at least the ending was correct. I, I'm going to be completely honest. I thought that Lord Farron was going to be Joko and he was going to betray us the whole time because he was charismatic and stand by me, the ship is coming and we need a human to fight all these people, put me on. I, I thought they were going to do something crazy like that and that it would be cool. But 
Instead, it's just literally there's no actual like big big brain play. We just go through. He sets up a trap for us. We just go through the trap he set up, and then there's this really cheap but good ending, and he just dies like that. At least the ending was correct, but the rest of it is just I don't know. I don't know. I I just feel I just felt uh, Arrain just eating him because she's a magic dragon. Felt cheap. Felt a little cheap to me. I feel like, like one of the reasons why she went that berserk was to 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 put emphasis on her personality changes, and I feel like that's that's the clue that we need to take. From yeah, this, they're setting like, up a story with our She's, she's going to change here. She's going to take influence from the different characters, like yeah. Balthazar, as it's noted by Cannot, um, and now she's going to be influenced by Joko and that whole. Berserk actually coming coming to grips with becoming an, an elder dragon. I feel like that's the process, that's the story that we're looking at now. Living story end boss is Aureen. We have to put her down. Yep. No. She's uh, out of control. I think, I think we'll have to cleanse her or something. Yep. Something like there, that. There, up there to the altar. There, there, up there to the altar. I think what I think what'll happen, something like this. We'll have to end up cleansing her by getting her to release the magic that's poisoning her hence her becoming an elder and dragon then, and sludge. then it, and then it wakes up another elder dragon and there's a big big problem and so timey but, finds the solution bram gets mad and hits something the commander has a good heart and ruins the plan and then timey is in trouble and then the commander solves the problem and then there's a cliffhanger well the commander and a then villain. an expansion what up yes yeah, then a new expansion the commander's a villain, which exactly. I thought was pretty good. No, the commander's an idiot and is a villain by proxy. Well, fair enough. Because don't forget, this is like the third step. The commander has a good heart but ruins everything. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, yeah. Inks. Can't forget that rule. It's, it's critical. How to write a Guild Wars 2 story. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, indeed. Do we, do, what, do we really have do we have anything else to say with regards to the story? I really liked it. I like the instances. Well, I know, I know DeRoyer made a video about uh, his theories on the next one with the Joko statue, talking about space and time. I don't know if you guys want to talk space about space and time. He talks about the uh, the gods. Well, and how, how much he of that do you think you can actually believe? Well, I'm I'm kind of a I'm a bit of a fifty fifty in this situation because it's very obvious that everything he's ever said is has been a lie and he takes credit for for whatever but there is actually a potential for for the writers to think all right maybe maybe joko feels like there's a chance i might actually end here so let me tell you a story that that is actually going to 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 be the the truth the pillar of my 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 story yeah the truth so I feel like there's a there's a chance it might be right and we could be going in a in a godly direction once more, mm. which I wouldn't be against. Um, it would it would certainly add some some interesting aspects to the story of like how the gods and the dragons came to be if Joko was actually involved in it. Um, it will take some it it will take away some of the mystery though, but like like the the biggest likelihood. Like should obviously be that well, just the dude's just lying through his teeth. But I can't, I can't just shake it off, not yet. So what if, what if, what if, what if, what if indeed? So here's, here's the thing about Joko. Joko is out of his mind, just insane, crazy. Like, did you listen to his monologue whenever you're doing the little heart thing in the story where he's like? In there talking to the guy with the dead wife, yeah. and he's like, "Oh, I was, <laughs> yeah." Did yeah. you listen to everything he Dude, said? Dude, he yeah, he says some really he's, fucked up he's, shit. He's he's like, yeah, yeah he, he's he, he's like, I'm. What if I what if I kill you and awaken you and give you extra mouths so, so you, you can, can scream, scream yeah, more and yeah, 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 yeah. And, and like, so like he's he is he is evil, yeah. He is, and you said he's gonna like reawaken the wife and like go and have like a party yeah. with her or something. Yeah. Whoa! So, so <laughs> what he a, is whoa. he is out of his mind, just evil through and through, crazy. And like he just like he he's like I, I don't know. That's why he's great. Like 
so here's the thing. Maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe he's just crazy because of the magic that he's using has actually been around forever. It is actually like just like he 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 got it and figured out a trick how to become immortal, but he got it from somewhere else and he's keeping its mind. And then that gets passed into Oreen. So it's like Assassin's Creed, like uh, genetic memories, some crap like that. He's probably telling the truth about how he made the gods and the elder dragons and whatever, because he probably has piece of whatever did that in him. But that's probably also making him crazy, and he's probably just evil to begin with. So that that's probably what's happening. I don't think he's lying or trolling or taunting. But, I don't know, maybe he thought that there was a chance that somebody else was going to come take his magic, but then he beat the commander and then really got his ego. And then Aureen ate him, and now Aureen has the magic. And so One, one of the parts mm, I really I, liked about him during that monologue at the end was he starts to talk about magic and it being the life source as he just, like, takes the life force out of the yeah. the awakened around him. He's just like, yep, take it. Okay, he's dead. T- like, he became, instead of being funny Joko or, or punny Joko, he became a bit more evil incarnate there. And I really liked that side of him. Mm. I thought that was a really good moment for him there. And that's, I don't know, that's, I guess that's yeah. maybe why I'm sad to see him go so it show It showed the other side of him, right? It was, yeah, uh, yeah that was, it was really great. It was a great, great, great uh, contrast. Yeah. Um. One thing I really do want to emphasize, which was kind of kind of a segue from what Inks just said, cutscenes. Oh yes, yes, getting More getting cuts. better. So this is good, a great cutscenes. So like ever, there were multiple cutscenes, and they were all so good. Right, I, I I really hope that that wasn't too annoying for them to make, and that they're going to do it again, uh, because it really does add a lot, in my opinion. They looked great. Um, the fact that they could do so much more with the characters, right? The characters can be so expressive um, when they when they have this. They already have this like amazing looking game, right? So then they can manipulate them to um, tell a story and they use use uh, you know camera angles and stuff like that to express what's going on. It's just so good. It adds so much in my opinion. Uh, and that was one of the one of the awesome awesome things that they did in this story with those cutscenes in engine cutscenes, boys. Yes. Yeah. Seemingly, all of those cutscenes were uh, uh, motion capture. Uh, like, they had actual actors yeah. go in and, like, act it out. Which I don't know if, like, it's easier on the animation team because then, yeah. But I don't know how taxing that is on the team as, as a whole. Like, whether or not it's, it's going to be a, a stable going forward. I hope it will be because it adds a lot of life to the characters that, that the animation team just... I mean, I guess they don't just have the budget for it, just normally to animate everything. Um, yeah. More, yeah. please. Yeah, please. more, absolutely. And you know what? People always like to draw the comparison to World of Warcraft, okay? And you know what? I might, this is a time, I, I know I've done it before, I'm going to do it again, right? The Guild Wars ones are easily as good or better than the ones. Yes, yes, they no. are. Well, no, 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 I'm not talking like Wrath of the Lich King cutscene trailer. Obviously not, dude. That's like a full, a full CG. I'm talking about the in-engine ones. It's, it's so good. They're actually really, really awesome uh, in Guild Wars 2. Like, executed very well. And it features the, um, it features the player character as well, which is just amazing. And uh, they have the player character in the cutscenes as well. Oh my god. That's great. That's great. Has all the characters that you're in there. That's amazing. I'm so, I was really, really impressed. I was so impressed. Indeed. It's great. That, yeah, I, I have no I have no negative things to say with it. I, I yeah. I have nothing really negative of substance to say about the story this time. I was really I, uh, impressed. I was really impressed. I, I think the cutscenes were, were pretty solid. I didn't notice that they were motion capture until somebody said that they were and I went back and watched them. I just I didn't notice anything particularly special or interesting about them. I mean, but motion like, capture isn't necessarily. It's it's just about giving it an extra. No, I, I know, I know. Like thinking about it and going back, like you have the like Citadel of Flame stuff where Ritlock falls off the bridge and he's just yeah, and Logan catches him, and it's like leagues better than that. But I don't know. 
Is this the first time that they've ever done motion capture yes. stuff? Seeming, seemingly, it's the first time, as as far as the the devs are telling us, at least. That's the, the first time mm-hmm. that they've had actors in. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then fucking Pogachamp boys. Yeah. Hype. Okay. Hype is real. Hype indeed. Well, do we have anything else to talk about? Have we kind of gone through the entire thing? Yeah, we went we went through it pretty uh yeah pretty negatively just, overall yeah we yeah i you know i feel i feel a bit bad like the first half of this tea time was it was not pma it was roasting okay we're like, roasting I, hard yeah okay as i said at the very start we will give credit where credit is due and when arena does something well we will say that we will we will commend that mm. so such this, this wasn't yeah. just yeah such as a story <laughs> exactly yeah. But this just wasn't one of those days. Yeah, I think there was some and, very... And shit happens. I think we leveled some very legitimate criticisms, uh, so I don't, I don't really feel too bad about it. But, uh, you know, I, you know I, do, I do like to be a little positive sometimes, guys. You know, it can't be... Yeah. You know, we've got we to gotta balance it out. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, an overall... Uh, yeah, there's some good things about this patch, some bad things, and some disappointments as well. But uh, I guess that's just how it goes, man. I guess that's how it goes. Um, oh yeah, there, there was this other thing as well. They're actually adding to Edge of the Mists a very flat area. I have, I did see this post. It got posted in my Discord um, the other day, actually. Um, they're going to add a new area for specifically open field fights in Edge of the Mists. Yeah, it's, it's kind the perfect of perfect map to do it. Pseudo GVG uh, support, kind of a little bit, right? Just pretty sort good. Of, yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm, um, ex- I'm extremely curious to see how how much of the GD- GVG community will actually drop off because of that, because they are only getting half the pips. They don't just, care about pips. Just, um, just the cur- Yeah, they all say that. They all say that, no, which is why I'm curious. They play um, World versus uh, people who play GVG are typically almost exclusive um, World versus World players, so they'll cap out on Diamond very quickly. Um, so they don't need um, pips, right? Yeah, they won't care about. They don't. Besides, yeah. they're there for I mean, the um, fight versus each other. They don't really care about. Them. Yeah, uh, I, I, this is a fine solution. However, I do want to slightly keep a reading it in, in check here, right? Uh, I don't want us to be too happy with this because the correct solution is actually to fix the problems with the guild hall, in my opinion. Um, with what? Ra- Sorry, what fix we- the problems with the guild hall. Fix instancing and make the arenas more suitable and change the PV, change the balance to world versus world. Completely they, agree. That's that's the actual correct solution here, and add some kind of spectator to the arena as well, right? Uh, don't get me wrong. This is a fine solution. This is great. Edge of the Mist is actually really good for this because um, everyone who's red is on the red team. Everyone who's green is on the green team. I think that's how it works. Everyone who's blue is on the blue team. So you can you can yeah. fight cross server very easily. Great, awesome, right? But it's still not quite as good as the guild hall solution, right? That that should actually be the correct. Um, Guild Hall. That should be the correct solution to this. So hopefully, that might happen at some point. Uh, I realize that the the guild team is kind of kind of dead, um, but mm-hmm. who knows? Maybe they can bring it back. Um, it would be nice to have that. A- as the post says, GVG is not a quote unquote you know official game mode. It is a player construct, right? Um, you know that that's you know sure fine. And they're also doing a ten v ten map as well, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it's with PVE. P, uh, PvP balance, sorry. So that it's not quite GVG. In fact, it, it will probably be a no, bit of still, a. Still, it can it can put some interesting. It can it can just change it slightly. Yeah. Like we, yeah. I mean, it might be fun. It might be fun. Usually, you have the fifteen v fifteen, right? Ten v ten. We're just gonna see new comps, new ways of ways of going about the the GVGs. I feel like it's a good it's a step in the right direction and it shouldn't be discarded right away. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I, I, I agree with you on the guild hall. I feel like uh, the guild hall. If there's any any team that I really want to be reawakened, it's yeah. it's uh, the guild hall team. Yeah, uh, it's, it, it's a real shame. It hasn't been touched for for far too long, really. Uh, it's it's a pretty cool system, and there's some cool stuff in there. I mean, I feel like I say this most tea time, but most tea times, but I, just add some more add some more buffs to it. Like add some more bonuses, make it worthwhile upgrading this guild hall. You know, uh, I love the ten percent boost. Like the tavern is great. Like why not? Let's upgrade that. Let's tack on another ten guild hall levels. Let's go. Uh, let's get those to fifteen percent. You know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, yeah, just more buffs, more unique things that you can get through the guild hall. Um, but I I have very little hope of that happening, unfortunately. 
feels bad, man. It's just not going to happen. Feels bad yeah. indeed. Yeah. But hey, that's uh, that's how it goes, I suppose. That's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, that's how the cookie crumbles, man. Ah, and you know, while we're talking about things that probably won't happen, let's talk about the luck cap, boys. How about that? <laughs> Guys, I have got enough luck that I could level from 0 to 300 again. Let's increase that cap. I'm just going to keep saying this every tea time until it happens, guys, okay? Because I asked for what... Internet, if, if you want to if you want to fix the ecto market, if you want to fix the price of the ecto market, increase the luck cap to 1000%. No joke. Increase it to 1000%. Oh shit. And you will, at, at least temporarily, and for a long period of time, you will be fixing in, uh, the extra price. It will only go up. Because if you didn't know, it's probably the biggest source of, uh, of luck. It's just salvaging Ectos. Ecto, the Ecto markets are just, it's, it's trash right now. If you want it, just in, increase the necessary uh, luck amount per percent. Just after the 300 cap. And then after every 100, you increase it even more. And it just gets exponentially crazier and crazier. Do that, please. I've been, I've been saying for a long time, increase the luck cap. Let's make it happen. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do does it. Does it even do anything? Magic fun, yeah. No, it doesn't. That's the thing. It Very doesn't, little. It, it, it doesn't, doesn't do, do anything. anything, basically. Because the luck yeah, doesn't little. really matter in this game. But... Oh, I mean, it's a magic but, fun is magic fun, dude. It's like uh, a yeah, it's true, it's true. I mean, I like it, but... No, we, should, we should bring back magic flying gear. <laughs> oh, boy. Dude. Magic find... Oh. Magic, magic find infusions. Wait, but you can... That's you the correct already, way to do you it. You already have that. You already have that. Magic find infusions? We, yeah, yeah, you the have enrichment. Yeah, the enrichment. The enrichment yeah. infusions. Again, I think, no, the, I think enrichment should be expanded upon even more. Uh, they should buff the world yes. vs. world ones already. And they're, they, they're working on... I think, I, I think they're probably working on technology. Because the reason there weren't PvP ones as well is actually because of a technology limitation. Apparently it like disables the amulet when you go in PvP because of the way the, yep. um, the stat system yeah. works. So I think though they're, they're, they're probably working on that if I had to guess. Um, mm. But yeah, I, yeah, just buff them, add more of them, uh, just add a bunch of. I, I don't know why we're talking about this. This is this is this is just like this is what we say every week. But you know, consistent messaging is important, guys. I suppose like we have that going for us. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, magic fine gear. Well, ra magic fine doesn't matter in raids, so it's uh, it, it it's fine, right? It's it's all good. It's all good. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That's all I have to say about that, really. Uh, just, you know, weekly reminder that the luck cap should be increased uh, because I have loads of it. <laughs> Feels good, man. Uh, yeah. I have, to, I have to say, guys, I think that just about does it for this tea time. Does anyone have any final words on the uh, the content for this week? Do I hope, better uh, next time, please. Uh, just please do better next time. I hope they revisit the rewards. I hope they revisit... Especially the inscribed shards, the volatile magic, um, and I hope they. Uh, I, I, I'm not gonna hope actually for the uh, uh, the meta to be have to have any any kind of change, but I would like to see it. I'm not gonna hope for it though. But just the rewards, fix the inscribed shards, please. Mm. It's it's a hellhole. Fix the chests, literally, just like fix the chests that you have on, on the entire map. There's no reason to go for any of the chests. You know what feels bad too, is spending 50 gold in that volatile magic for a home instance node that gives you yeah, one, it gives you one shard. One shard. That feels good. Nice. Also, the, yeah, the portal tome is still bugged. I'm sure there's a fix coming for that. Yeah. And it underwater treasure that. chests are still bugged. That hasn't what? been. No, they are not. It is on my account. Oh, what? okay. What it's not a chest. The, like they ended up underwater chest. content a while ago. Yeah, the crate chest. The crate chest, yeah. I've been getting those every day. Yeah. No, no, no. The keys are coming in, but the uh, for some people had the uh, the chest not resetting after you completed the achievement yeah. round. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did it the but, other day, and I'm, I, mean, I haven't had any problems. I did it on patch day they're because it was the me. only content that worked. Yeah, they're not fixed for me. Well, feels bad. Well, I fix hope it gets fixed it, for yeah. you. Yeah. Fix it for oh, me. that reminds me. That reminds me of something actually. Um, Blackline chest is, is sucks. It's it's rubbish. Yeah, it does. 
This one sucks. I, you know, I was all hyped. I was He's ready to open it. 300 keys. I had 300 Black Lion keys ready to go. And I only did 50 because I was in terrible pain at how bad they were. Uh, so I stopped. There you go. I, that, that was kind of disappointing, but I guess it's not a big deal. What was bad about it? Um, the, 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 the a beetle chest or a beetle backpack, I mean. That's, yeah, that's the, guaranteed, yeah, like the guaranteed uh, item is really bad. Um, and they didn't really put anything in it. Feels bad, man. But the guaranteed item is basically your pay-to-win way of getting the, um... The, uh, the uh, underwater uh, chest, The, the yeah. crate case. Yeah, the crate case. Yeah. Uh, the, um, the guaranteed item is trash for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, the keys just aren't overly rewarding in general. And number two, you've got to do it individually. You can't do it in Ooh. mass. Oh, you, oh you wait. 25 Ooh. chests. Yeah, that really you is have bad. 300 chests. Have fun choosing 300 individual oh, keys. Oh, yeah, that is, that is pretty bad. Yikes. That's not great. Um, as far as the rewards go, I don't know. This, might, this one might have been mediocre, but the drop rate, and it's probably just random RNG, the drop rate was a little better for me this time around than normally. So... Yeah, the, the same the same problems that Black Lion chests have had for a while continue to persist. So, yeah, there's that. I will say this: I would expect a for your guaranteed item for the next chest, which will probably be in about four weeks from now, three or four weeks from now. They're usually about a month apart, give or take. Um, you should expect another mini baby, whatever mount thing. So, flying pancake or whatever else is left. And then they do that whole collection, like we had for raptors and for griffins. Oh, yeah, that. that so another mean... one of those is probably coming up within the next chest or so. Well, I'm going to probably skip out on that as well then. Yeah. And if you're into that, make sure you save your unidentified dice now because it requires mm. a lot of them. Play PvP. <clears throat> yeah, okay. play PvP. You get a ton of them. It's fat, easy dice. Yeah. yeah. I would just conclude that uh, you know the episode was it was yeah, yeah it was it it seems worse than it is because of the slightly clown fiesta launch, the map seems a bit unfinished. The beetle is really cool. I really like the story. Fractal looks amazing, but I wish I had a CM. Feels bad, man. I just wish we had CM. Um, yeah, that's about it. Also, give raid and give alliances. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, yeah. Communication would be cool. And hey, maybe we could uh, you know maybe we can help uh, with with the test server as well. But honestly, overall. It's the patches are okay. Um, if you consider, okay, if if you live in the reality, the alternate wor world where it actually all worked on launch, I'd say the patch is actually pretty good. Patch actually, I'd say it's no. pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. No. <laughs> Wrong. If, if if this patch came out on time and it worked, there weren't login bugs and disconnects. It would have just been like it would have been okay. But it got pushed back. It got delayed. The map is a joke. Everything was broken. They broke raids. Like <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know how you can say like what. What. What did you say a second ago? It seemed a lot worse than it was. That. Yeah. that that's not. It. It was bad. How. I don't understand how you could say it seemed worse than it was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Was, so it was already worse. Right. No. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So. The mount's really cool. Collection yes. was, was kind of fun. Story yes. was really good, in my opinion. I'll grant that it was okay. Okay. Fractal was... <laughs> Fractal was uh, thematically very good, I think. Okay. Maybe a little easy, right? Mm -hmm. And the map is good the first time through, but after that, it's kind of pointless. So that's... that's that, that, the only downside is really the fact that the map is a bit balked. The map feels incomplete. Yeah, the the map is incomplete and it's balked. I mean, that's uh, yeah. that's the the problem with this episode, really. The uh, the only yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, reason yeah. the reason it feels bad is because you couldn't actually play it for yeah. like a like two days or whatever, like depending where you where you live, it, right? Yeah. Right, and, and we waited an extra three weeks to do all yes. of the content in a couple of hours. Yeah. That that's the reason why it feels bad. But it, it, right. if you if you assume that it actually worked. Uh, the first time, it's actually really good. It's pretty well, good. It, match. It's it, pretty good. If, if it if it came out on time, it wasn't delayed, and there weren't any launch problems. It would have just been the regular Reddit disappointment for three days. Uh, Everyone would have moved on, and no one would have complained about it. Well, the story I think was better than average. I think yes. the beetle mount is extra hype for most people. 
everything else is kind of but far but we'll but there but it. there was a three week delay true You're and there wrong. was just broken people actually couldn't log in or got disconnected yeah. out of the story and since like I, all I of that happened. PvP. that all happened story. <laughs> like those it, like it it could have like there you could you could it, it all happened that's the thing this isn't math and avoid this is stuff that actually all happened <laughs> but i mean i i think it kind of it, for me it at least boils more down to like this is just another mediocre map on top of and uh, on top of everything else and this is just like right this mediocre map is just it's just not rewarding there's it's no a, fun in it and a, then and then and then you put on these extra like barriers to entry which is like dcs and and horrible rewards and it, it's it's a map that feels like a homework assignment someone turned in three days late and didn't finish because the teacher got mad at them that's what the map feels like my dog and ate. then and yeah My and then, you the know, like it's just there's uh, there's i i can't give them any credit for the map at all zero credit it's 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 an f f minus wow i mean wow. The, it's just it's just there's just it's just bad it's bad it's bad it's it's bad i think like, it's bad guys according to <laughs> probably bad the story, the story is not my thing. The cutscenes are objectively good, better than other cutscenes. Like the ending to the story, I thought was good, but like they broke, they broke Wing Three. The fractal is like, I'm not a fan of it. Like I think the environment and the assets look good, but it's just kind of a meme and it's a jumping puzzle. I'll just say that it's fine. I'll grant that much. But, like, the map is a disaster. And there were so many problems and there were delays. And then on top of that, hey, guys, we've postponed the Reddit celebration. They don't even call it an AMA. It's a celebration. Well, they they, they postponed that. that, too. And so, I mean, just, just arena that, come on. Just come on. Just come on. I don't know. That's, that's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> well, look at that. There's a slightly different perspective for all you guys out there. I, you know, I, you know I, I think I actually did have fun with the story episode. And yeah, the map is unfinished. So there's definitely some big problems with it. But other than that, it was kind of pretty good. It was, it was really good. Other than that, I mean, you got you to beetle. You got to the beetle. And yeah, the, and the Reddit celebration is tomorrow, right? The Reddit... <laughs> That does, when, yeah. when you, when you, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Reddit, ooh, okay. I, I have a feeling that they might get some very there might be some unanswered questions in that thread. Um <laughs> But never mind. Then yeah. There might be a few issues with, with that. But you know what? I don't know. It was it was like I'm trying to be PMA. I think I am PMA. I, I actually I had a lot of fun. I think the patch really has a lot of promise. It's a shame it didn't it, it, the launch kind of tripped over itself, okay, guys? That was the problem. But, you know what? I think I think we could argue about this for a long time. Uh, we've got a good balance of PMA and maybe some hard realism, you know, for, on the other side. Give me, give me, give me, give me one more second. Okay, right? one, okay, go on then. Y yeah. So this is the second time I've seen this in chat today, but itma underscore, I'm assuming that's how you say that. Why does Brazil playing this game if he hates everything Aina does? So... You must not have listened to literally anything I said the entire tea time at all. Not since like two seconds into it where DeRoyer and I agreed that we would give them credit for things that they did that were good. Problem is, is that we did that and there wasn't very much to give credit for. That, that's the big problem with this patch. So, I mean, I'm not Care Bear, happy, casual, get on my knees and worship ArenaNet for literally everything that they do, like a lot of people in this community happen to be. For whatever reason, and that's the stuff that they want to push on Twitter and whatever. I'm not that kind of guy. I I mean, I, I'm honest. I'm a little rough around the edges, and I say things that quite honestly need to be said that not enough people say. So, like, I don't know. If you want to have that attitude and just, you know, let's just this guy's a, he's a bad man, he's a jerk, then, you know, whatever. Go go buy your gym store outfits, go buy your mount skins, give Anet 10, 20 bucks every Tuesday, and just play the game and enjoy it. 
and there thank are things you about thank this you game. Yeah, yeah. There, we, we, we need people like you as much as we need people like me to keep things in check. We need the rook in the back of the chessboard who says, don't get any closer because I'm going to smash your ass if you do. Ooh. I'm going to take your pawn. Ooh. So, I, I mean, both of us are necessary. Just keep that in mind. Are you going to break out in song now? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I'll let I'll let Zach oh, do that after. The oh, nice. Right? Yeah, that, that monologue could be a remix. Actually, that actually what? could happen. Yeah. All right. I, I think okay. on that, I think it's a great place to uh, to kind of wrap things up, wrap the proceedings yeah. up, guys. I think that's a good place to end. That we had an an excellent discussion fun, today, guys. guys. You know, I do love it when we have some different perspectives. Mm! Nice. Okay, so let's start the shilling. Okay. <laughs> In a wonderful shade of blue, he has uh, uh -huh. dyed himself with some of that blue ink. It is MMO Inks. Yeah, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube at MMO Inks. Uh, we've been streaming a lot more, so come say hello. Uh, I'm better than Droyer, and that's what. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wow. confirm. Is better than me. Okay. All right. And moving across to the other side of the stream, it is Elementalist Main Deroya. The, the subpar ink substitute. It wow. is I. <laughs> the vegan Deroya, alternative yes. for MMO the inks. The vegan alternative to MMO inks. It's me, Deroya. And the, and the good rant, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. Deroya Gaming. Yes, it's, it is me. I stream every day. I'm on Twitter, uh, and uh, yeah, on on YouTube as well. Good fun. Come say hello. Yeah. All right, and then the speaker of truth, the man who sees he pierces the veil. Okay, it is ghostly infusion, aka Brazil. Yeah, so uh, just like Joko, I, I died for a little while and came back from the dead to bring that sweet justice back to Arena Nut. And so, hi. Welcome hi. back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Of course, you can find links to all of that. The bot is posting it. It's below the stream as well. You can click on it. And it's, it's, it's all there, guys. It's all there. But anyway... And then finally, it's me, okay? Arena Net Shill, okay? Uh, Arena Net's the best. I, I have never been critical of Arena Net, actually. Fun fact. Net. Um, yeah, right. never. Never. Oh, it bent me with 200 bits. Thank you. See? Look, uh, I, yeah, that's actually my payment for the shill. Um, you're supposed to do that off, off the stream, Ben. You've. You've ex shut it shut it down. Shut it the fuck down right now. Rigged. Okay. Rigged. Yeah, it's, it's rigged. But anyway, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the stream, you could now host. Wait, no, you couldn't host the stream, or you could do that as well. But you could also just, um, you could follow the stream. You could also subscribe, guys. Twitch Prime, it's free. It costs you nothing, okay? Fully Smash free. that like button. Smash that follow Smash button, guys. Smash that like button. Pound that subscribe button, guys. Okay, Ew. do it right now and come back and watch every single day. Exact, do that. Okay, be Brazil and do that to the sub button, guys. Okay, do it right now. And follow me on Twitter as well, guys. Okay, let's go. Follow everyone on Twitter. Brazil, Ghostly Infusion, Deroya, Deroya Gaming. Okay, me, Mighty Teapot, Inks, M.O. Winks. Follow all that shit. Follow everyone who's ever been on Tea Time, guys. And subscribe to everyone who's ever been on Tea Time. Uh, support all the best content creators on all of Twitch. And of course, we will see you guys next time. Thank you, watch. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys later, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>